Ah, yes. So, Dr. Drew has another success story. Yeah. This Dr. Drew in this yeah. celebrity rehab. Patrice O'Neill, what's Patrice up, brother? O'Neill. There he is. How you doing that, pal? Morn. Good. What's good. Up, Patrice? Like our little, we did a little finger handshake there. Oh, good. That's the one we're supposed to do. I know. <laughs> Very nice. Good morning, guys. Good morning. <sighs> How's things? Things are good. We, Goodly. We, looking uh, good. Everybody's looking good. What's going yeah. on? Haircut by you? Haircut? You got your hair uh. fixed. <laughs> fixed. fixed? Oh, fixed. boy. Not yet. I got to fix my hair. Looks a little shiny. A little shiny? Oh, it gets lighter it in has, the summer. It has body. <laughs> That's body. I decided to grow it in a little bit, yeah, and little, that hides some of the hurt up there. It's a little body. <laughs> if you grow the hair in a little bit, you could kind of cover up some cover shit. Cover up, uh, <laughs> yeah, the pain. How's everybody doing? Doing good, good man. Patrice. You sure. Yeah, hang. Is this radio jogging, or are you feeling good? <laughs> We're doing all right. This fucking horse shit. Rather be, rather be sleeping. Ram. You know. At least you're honest. People got to enjoy that shit. Well, yeah. we've been a little too honest lately. Are <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you been getting in trouble? No. Uh, no. Back, like the good old days, basically, getting, in, getting some fucking nah. trouble? Basically nah, telling people pretty... we're done in a year. You think so? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I think what to are you going to do? I think to this well, capacity. What am I going to do? With this five-day-a-week bullshit. No, nah, we'll, we'll reinvent ourselves. Go down to two. I mean, I'll... Uh, yeah. I'll... uh be nice. I'll give this company a shot to do the right thing, but if they don't, <laughs> I know what I want. I know what Ant wants, and yeah. if they don't come close to that, fuck them. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. I like hearing that. There's kind your of answer. Shit. I'm yeah. right with you. You know why I'm right There's with you? There's your answer. I don't get paid by the company. Gives a shit, right? It'd be easy for me to say fuck that shit, like because because I'm just a visitor. But right, yeah. I want to I want to try something and see if I would be like with you guys. Yeah. They just pay. They just give me like a hundred G's. Oh, for, really? For, like you know, a month. Like why? Just to see if I, just month. when y'all walk, I walk. Yeah. See what that happens. Oh, oh, then you go, fuck you, I'm adding you too. It's easy for me to say, fuck it, I'll walk. Well, we take, yeah, they would be like, fuck you, but if, if you attach yourself on us. I go, fuck that. And go, I'm they leaving go, too. I'm go, take your check and shove it up your fucking And they'll go, Patrice, we'll, give you, well, they we'll should, give you some money. They should add that to the equation, because when yeah. we leave, we, we bring a lot of people with us. Oh, we're taking everybody. Holy we're taking a lot of people. Balls. Well, you know, th some will still so, be some, there'll be some shows that try to collect your, um. Uh, some will, some will. Your crumbs. Will stab uh, us in the your, back. Your, your talent our, crumbs. Our refuse. We'll, yes. we'll be leaving and. Howard, uh, I wanted to do it the whole time, but. Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> Howard <laughs> blocks him and jets him. Howard's not even in the game anymore. He's not a player anymore. He's a part timer. Would be nice. And really? God bless. Yeah, he's absolutely a part timer. Love to be a part timer. Here, God, you, I, I got in trouble yesterday, so I got shut up. Oh, you did? Yeah. Did yeah, you? Of course I did. Fuck, are you out of here in a year? Yeah. That. Uh, yeah. Every day <sighs> in October. Every day I'm reminded. Yeah. Walk away. Be like CM Punk. I got fucking go out like a soldier. Leave. I got in trouble because mm -hmm. I'll tell you because I. Uh, we, well, we've brought up uh, Howard's vacation schedule. Okay. And I guess they don't want people to know his vacation schedule. But if it's been. But out all there. they have to do is listen to the radio, <laughs> and they know his vacation <laughs> schedule. You know <laughs> So now I'm in trouble, and I'm like, you realize the guy is suing the company. When is he going to be in trouble? Why is it I'm always in trouble? For pointing out, out obvious shit. You know why? Holy crap, enough already. The guy is they a part-timer. Like, like God it. bless Howard Stern. I'm not even. I'm not mad at him at all. No. But the fact is, deal. he's a part-timer now. Well, he works six days in July, and I, I oh. mentioned this, and I get in trouble. That that uh, calendar that's been put up all over looks like a bingo board. <laughs> the I mean, the truth hurts. It is yeah. what it is. Michael, if in the view of the of the of the of the team, Michael Jordan could take a shit, yeah, on yeah. a referee's foot, <laughs> right, and the third guy can't, and so, everything's fine. So that's how they see you. That's but Horace all Grant doing. would get kicked out of the league. They see yeah. you. You're Horace see, I'm Grant. just showing you that I know a little about the Bulls from back in the day. Yeah, they would look at you as Horace Grant, but yeah. I don't. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I don't know, Thank fucking... you. But I'm in trouble now. I had an elevator ride yesterday. I'm like, leave me alone. Yeah. I'm like, if the company, you know, if the company's going to, like, uh, get me mm. in trouble for something like this, I don't want to be here. I go, the guy's suing the company, and he's a part-timer. When does he get in trouble? Yeah. He, when they... the fuck does he get in trouble? But don't get... I'm always don't in trouble. Get, don't have to be forced to resign. Mm -hmm. I'm not like, resigning. Like, they'll, the, they'll... Whole, the whole fucking do something so that they can get rid of you. Right, right. That's what it yeah. is. I said, don't even talk. <clears throat> I, I said, don't even fucking talk to me about this. 
Don't even talk to me about it. Yeah. Simple as that. Don't you have equipment where you could just do your own radio show if you wanted to? <laughs> <laughs> His studio is better than this shit. I'm gearing Listen, up, my friend. You're going to get us in trouble. we got to move on. I'm telling you. Okay. One, one because thing, I, we, I go on we've the pushed internet, it a little too far yeah. lately. And I just see things on the internet that different ways that they're, they're making are, me see ads. Things are blossoming. Like they force me to do ads. Yeah, yeah. And I got to X things out. And, but if it, it's a fake X... If I click that X, it really opens up something. Oh, you yeah, motherfuckers. Don't you hate that? But yeah, because they're, they're not tricky you. with this shit now. They're, so. not, they're, you. they're not that nice to you. You're so right. When you go, oh, I'm going to skip the ad because they're giving me that option. That means that you just entered a whole world of hurt. That's why I'm... I'm they I'm, just got you know. your credit card number and they're <laughs> oh, fucking yeah. charging things that you don't even know about yet. I love that Apple supposedly has no... Uh, no viruses? I yeah, think yeah. I have one on my... I think Do I you? found a way to put a virus to on. put a I'm virus on your sure. Apple? Because yeah. I got that wheel of death quite often. Wow, really? The one where it just spinny spins? Spins and wheel? spins, but it stops, but I get... Spinny spin, 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 it doesn't, spin. doesn't move much. Spin, you got to force spin, quit. Spin, spin. It's, a, it's yeah. some things going on. Apple is a lion. It's not I like it used to be. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't just like I can open up any porn site and fucking... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Scum on my like fucking Like the old computer. days. <laughs> right. You're right. <laughs> By the way, right. I got in trouble, and, 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 and the guy <clears throat> that I have to answer to is in Africa. How do I get in trouble, and the guy's not even on, the, on this continent? <laughs> he's with Africans, and you're still getting in trouble? Yes! Yeah. He's on a safari for two weeks, and I'm in trouble. How well, that happen? Because God forbid I'm here. God <laughs> forbid we're here doing a show every day. Yeah. <laughs> we're getting in trouble as we do our jobs. From a guy that's riding a fucking elephant to, uh, on another continent for the next two Maybe weeks. Maybe something terribly white will happen. This place is insane. <laughs> Maybe something, maybe something very true TV is should have. Oh, true TV. Yeah. Oh, been vacation attacks kind uh, of things. Maybe I've a, never rooted yeah. for a lion more in maybe, my life. Maybe, <laughs> ch maybe, ch maybe chupacabra will be showing. Right. Chupacabra, maybe a, a chimpanzee that wants to rip some testicles yeah. off. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I man? They love they love I, ripping testicles. I actually said yesterday, I'm like, listen to yourself. You're trying to hide the fact that Howard's now a part timer. How is that possible? Yeah. All they have to do is tune in his channel and hear a 20 year old replay, and they know, oh, he's not here again. And like I said, I don't have a problem with Howard at all. Yeah, I know. We look other... at him. We look at him, hoping that maybe we get the Holy Grail someday. It's not. Uh, it's no surprise when you tune in and you hear me on his show. <laughs> yeah, that's. Uh... Has that happened? Yeah. <laughs> yeah I don't yeah. think anybody's thinking. Hey, check it out. Uh, yeah. Anthony's on it. <laughs> <laughs> he'll be back, I think, Monday. Finally. Oh yeah. Yeah, he'll do six Welcome days back. in July. Welcome back. Welcome home. And, yeah, he does six shows in July. It was reported nine, and uh, I'd see, I, I'm gonna get, <coughs> gonna get in trouble again. All right, let's move on. Gonna then. get a talking to. Yeah. Let's, let's, if you talk about chimps, let's talk about this new Planet of the Apes movie that I want to oh, see God. badly. Is there uh, previews out yet? Remember the last time we they were all They got psyched? us, but I don't think they're going to get us with this one. Nah. You think they're going to get us? No. They fucked up the last one. Yep. That was a no brainer to make with Planet Marky, of the Apes. With cool. Marky Mark. They fucked that movie up. How did up they so fuck bad. that up, though? Let I, me know. Because you know what? Can I just say? It's, it's I'm, been... I'm fuck what you say, guy, uh, for this week. Oh, okay. Fuck what everybody says, and I'm going to start out by saying this. Yeah. I There's three other gangster movies I'd rather see than Godfather. Okay. And two other Vietnam movies I'd rather see than Apocalypse Now. And that can those I... those are the I know what they are. The functioning can great I... mo movies. All right. All right. Can we guess the, God, uh, the Godfather movies? <laughs> the three you would rather see than Godfather? Mm -hmm. You could. Goodfellas. Goodfellas was, mm -hmm. that was obvious. Uh, Casino. Because mm -hmm. that was yep. my second. And and those are this the two. One, this one, no, it's three. Oh, it's three. Three, three gangster movies. The third is the tricky one, right? No. Scarface? But you might smack me in the face. No. Huh? The, well. No. That's stereotypical of what no. you did right there. Black people like Scarface. They love no. Scarface. No. Okay. No. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm dead serious. I've seen it. I've seen it. Dead men don't 50. wear plaid. <laughs> Donnie Brasco. Donnie Brasco. Donnie Brasco. That is a good one. And only, and I, look, I'm not, I can't that get into a, a fucking, a, a theater discussion with anybody Man. that's angry, but I, I, those three movies I'd rather watch first, even then, though I know The Godfather's great. Right, right. That's not but shocking. I'd rather though. watch those three movies. That's not shocking. The Godfather. Yeah. It's not but shocking. But in terms of people that tell you what to fucking watch and tell you what's right. good. Yeah. I, I go, I, I like those three better. <laughs> Entertainment value. I couldn't yeah. argue that you didn't think the scene, the way it fucking flowed yeah, through right. this. I didn't it. get it. I, I mean, I love it, 
I love the movie, but I'd rather watch. I'd rather yeah, that's... watch fucking Casino. Yeah, that's not any time. What was the other one? <laughs> Donnie Brasco. No, no, the other question. Oh, uh, Vietnam. Oh, Vietnam. Vietnam. Come on, Platoon. Easily. Yeah. Easily. Platoon is great. And Full Metal Jacket. Full yeah. Metal Jacket. Full Metal Jacket. Great. Platoon easily. I watch. Great. Ten thousand times more than I would watch. Yeah. I, I watch Apocalypse Now a hundred times. Mm-hmm. Because I think I'm supposed to. Yeah, yeah. And I'm, and I'm sitting there and I'm going, oh, Robert Duvall, yeah. Dun, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I'm feeling it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fucking Kornhauser or whatever the fuck his yeah. name is. K- Kirkenbauer. That yeah, Ma- yeah. Marlon Brando put. But I, I'm, I'm just like, eh. Uh, eh. Kurtz. Charlie Colonel Sheen. Kurtz. Colonel Kurtz. Eh. But, 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 but I watch Platoon. Yeah. It's, it's on cable right at yep, the moment. Yep. I'm, I watch it every time it comes on. It's great. I, I don't get sick of it. And I don't so get good. I don't get tired of saying Sergeant Barnes is, might be the best character in a movie I, ever. I, I, I just watched it two days ago, and I was thinking yeah. the same thing. I'm, I mean, seriously, I can't. I'm watching. I'm watching them all. So I'm looking at this Planet of the Apes movie. Yeah. Okay. Here's what I want to know. Mm-hmm. I want to know movies that are considered bad. Mm-hmm. I want to know why, why Waterworld was bad. I love Waterworld. I want to know why they told me it was a shitty movie, and I watch it every single every time, time it comes it's on, on, and I love it. Why I'm, is it a bad movie? Yeah. I, I can't answer you that question. You tell me. Because I don't know, because I watch it, and I love Waterworld. I watch him sm- throw that little girl in the water. <laughs> Kevin Fantastic. Costner is a complete <laughs> asshole in that movie. He is. He's he like... chops their hair off. He won't fuck ugly, what's her name, Triple Horn. And he, <laughs> and he leaves the island yeah. on a fucking like, worst ship that he had. Yeah, on a horrible he little thing. He loves the ocean. He just loves it. it. it it's a, it's a, I, I watch Waterworld, and yeah. I'm going to tell you something else I watched it. They're trying to <laughs> tell me stunk. The Postman. Love The Postman. Really? They told me The Postman sucked, and I, I'm not listening to him no more. Because it's really? Waterworld on the land. I enjoyed The Postman. It's the same movie. On the land. I, I, I and love I love that it. movie. Love it. Why did you tell me that movie stung? It's a, it's a great what subject a great, today. What a great bad so, guy. Yeah. So it, the guy and was And the guy's great. like, I used to fix copy machines. <laughs> and now he's like fucking kicking ass, taking names. Dude, I, I, I'm, I'm sitting there going, okay, you said the, fir- the first, <laughs> the Planet A remake was yeah. bad. Yeah. Why was it bad? Why? I, it's not memorable because I can't even tell you one scene from the movie anymore. Now you got me thinking. But and, why and I, is it bad? Now you got me thinking why. I think there were uh, high expectations. I think uh, Marky Mark took you out of the movie a little bit. They went off. Because you're like, hey, yeah, that's Marky Mark. They went, because they went off the original. They went completely off the original. And we thought it was going to be. Well, that's a reboot, though. Yeah. They went for the reboot. Made it really dark. Mm. Uh, that's all I could say about it. I haven't seen the movie in but years. Do you, I didn't, but I, do you see how fast you, you would say it's it stunk? Yeah. True. But it's like, why did we, it stink? Now, I'm not going to say it was a great movie. We didn't give you a good answer. I understand that. That's what I mean. So it's like, we, we will say some things that come right out of, the, like, we go, Apocalypse Now is the standard of, but I go, right, I don't, but no. I'm not sure. I, 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 you know, I would say it again. I think people had a problem with Marky Mark in that movie. Really? Yeah, he was Marky Mark. They probably should have went with some kind of unknown. I'm the thinking. apes were great. The I'll apes looked that. all right, right? Yeah, they looked great. I think, though, if, if you remember... The trailer was spectacular. Oh yeah, I that's true. That. It was. Spe- I think the trailer yeah. was so good. It was. It was it very was a, hard to live up to the trailer. But the trailer for this new one is phenomenal. It looks good, man. I haven't seen it's it yet. Phenomenal! Yeah. I gotta see this fucking it does, movie, man. It does look good. I gotta tell you, I have a problem with Marky Mark in movies. Mark really? Wahlberg, yeah, because yeah. you go once again. That's Marky Mark. Boogie Nights, it's fucking fantastic. Boogie Nights, not so Love much. Boogie Nights, because he changed his look enough. Love Boogie Nights. And all the other movies, he he made a deal with the producers that he wasn't going to cut his hair or something. He had to have his regular Marky Wahlberg hair. Marky Mark. I think they're looking for a something version of Matt Damon, but Matt Damon is the same exact version of Mark Wahlberg, but he makes better choices. Did they come out Are, about the same time, or was Marky Mark doing think, movies? I just think Matt Damon did something mm-hmm. with himself that he's borderline gets to go, do good mo- the same kind of movies that maybe Johnny Depp gets to do, but he's not right. as I, involved as Johnny Depp. Yeah, yeah. But he's really good. Can I ask you something? Movie. Actors that take you out of movies because they're so fucking famous that they mm-hmm. you're like, oh, 
I'll say it again. That's Marky Mark. You have a short list of guys like that. That is so famous or so bad? Well, Travolta's terrible in everything he's in. Nobody's now. that famous for me to go. No. Yeah. Where it's tough for them to play a, a, a character because you just know the guy so Not well. Not good. I mean, Leo, well, that's why I'm saying is there, DiCaprio. is there a short list of actors that will do that to you? No. I know there's a I know there's a short list of actors. Another thing I'm going to do is stop saying like Jack Nicholson's great. Yeah, yeah. I, I, <laughs> yeah I, sure. I, I'm watching and I You're go, right. "What's going on here?" Yeah, mm -hmm. this guy is him again. Yeah, and meaning I'm not going to say he's not a great him, but it's but him all the time. Plays him he, I, a little I, I too wouldn't much. say that he's a. I yeah. can't say he's a great mm -hmm. actor. I think he's a great comfortable, comfortable <laughs> guy on film. Yeah. Wow, this looks badass. I haven't this seen movie, this yet. This Planet of the Fucking right. Apes looks. If this one sucks, go back to the uh, beginning of the trailer. Let's 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 give it a oh, listen. Real we quick. love watching trailers. I know it's please. the dumbest thing to do on radio, nah. but we love doing it. People can play along at home. Yeah, get your computer. God damn it! Look up Rise of the Planet of the Apes. You know Looks good. I think oh, this yeah. does look pretty good. Damn it! It's just gunless apes. <laughs> We we will uh, what they what they call collateral damage <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. to any apes. Wait, there's and... children in the school. <laughs> snake Burn and nape, snake and nape the fucking bridge. <laughs> we <laughs> gunless apes. There's apes in the wire. Yeah, Chips yeah. in the wire. Don't they, matter. We will fucking drop light it them on up. my paws. <laughs> <laughs> on my paws. I take full responsibility. It's a hell of a, a war. Lovely oh, fucking war. Lovely yeah. <laughs> it looks fucking good. Yeah, that's gonna be a great one. But Green Lantern looked good. Uh, and and I didn't see it. Dude, dude. Yeah. not good. Dude, yeah. not good. Mm. And I have the oh, same boy. funny feeling oh, about Captain America. We just uh, talked to the man. Yeah, yesterday. yeah, yeah. The, the Captain America guy? We talked to the Captain America. Uh, he's too... He's a, he's a Boston guy. Too what? He's Boston. He's, too it's white bread? Too, don't, no, those two guys... Too milk toast. Are, uh, they're two f finger air gun guys. They're t the, Ryan Reynolds was in the, in the comic books. And here's the bad thing about what, mm. what's going on with these comic books. Yeah. Adults are into comics. Children now... Are not into comic books the way adults are. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Even some fathers trying to get his goofy son to be into him, but they just. <laughs> You're right. You, the, wow. The, the paper feels funny. Yeah. You know, and you you think of heroes that would be good on um. On on television, and like Aquaman would be <clears throat> tremendous. Yeah. If they did a rated R, and they they took advantage of the abyss. Really well, made ocean, it fucking the crazy. The ocean is creepy. Yeah, yeah. Anything I see about the ocean scares the, the ocean's dog. ocean scary. And he, a man lives in the ocean. Mm -hmm. It has to be some kind of deep, dark Aquaman. Yeah, It can't yeah. be fun, fun guy. It who can't be a guy in the Bahamas. Swims like with that nice sea. colored water. Yes. <laughs> Swimming with, with the, the dolphins. Steel drums. Yeah, yeah. Doing the doing like the dolphin dances, it and has to jumps. Be the creepiness of yeah. the abyss. So you've never went scuba diving. I know exactly what you're describing. That weirdness. Oh, uh, the darkness where you look uh, ahead and you know there's just darkness for thousands. And of there's miles. a fucking dude and living there. Some yeah. shit out yeah, there. Yeah, that's you scary. Who see. communicates with the lobsters? Yeah. <laughs> Do you understand? Like they, but they're gonna fuck it up. Yeah. Because yeah. Aquaman. Well, I don't know theory, if they will because they're they're going dark with a lot of these superhero movies. No, they're finally. not. No, they're, they're not. Kind of they, well, name mm. one besides the great Dark Knight. One well, uh, dark. Mr. Captain America told us that that's going to be a bit dark. Really? Is he, that what said he said not. It's Come on. it's more like the Iron Man though tone. That was where it's got a little Iron bit. Man of, was kind of dark. Nah, Iron Man was little, good, but yeah. it wasn't dark. Wasn't dark. Yeah. Well, it was dark there was a good balance of not cartoony dark. and darkness. He even that said movie. not no. dark nightish. Who? You know? Who in in my yeah. Iron Man was dark? What part? You didn't think so? Not a drop of darkness. The Dark Knight, the the original Batman, which I I have finally come on. I used to say Superman's 1978, mm -hmm. best comic book movie ever made. Wow. Well, the the original original. The original Christopher Reeve was stupendous. Batman Begins took that over for me. Yeah, yeah. It's the best. It's but not. It's be, It's better than Dark Knight to me. Only for this. Mm -hmm. When I was a kid and watched Batman, I used to go, "Who built 
the Batmobile? It was a suspension of disbelief. Ah, uh, yeah, you're right. Who built the Batmobile? Was it, you know, and who built the Batcave? Right. Who built the little thing that sl- went da- that little gate that went down under and went the back stately up? Wayne Manor? Who built the thing that yes. you you rip open the head and push the button and you go down? Yeah, it, yeah, who yeah. did that? Batman Begins Alfred, added. Alfred would fucking dude. Know that shit. Tip up that fucking. That Morgan Freeman character, okay. Mm-hmm. Who that, plays Morgan Freeman in every movie? Who plays Morgan Freeman <laughs> in every movie? If you, if you, he does you that. are speaking for a couple uh, of crackers out there that said, "Fuck uh, you, nigga. sorry, Jack Nicholson." But Morgan Freeman is yeah, yeah. this every. I'm getting character. my short list together. It's a sh- it, Morgan Freeman is him. In I every like movie. to say the sisters never got to him. There's a there's a few so great narrating. actors. I would. I, it's a short list of great actors. Yeah. Robert De Niro, even though he's been oh, God. quite of, fucking of up late. lately, but he deserves it. Yeah. Young De Niro is is great. still the greatest Raging actor I've ever Bull seen. Raging Bull De Niro is amazing. Denzel yeah. is second. Denzel. Denzel has done things where you go, that motherfucker can act. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I put up there, maybe ab- above all, Ooh. this motherfucker is so good. Oh, shit. Daniel Day Lewis. Really? Yeah. This cocksucker. Where the fuck has he been? He only that... does a movie every ten years and gets an Oscar. Where the fuck is Gangs he? Gangs of New York. Gangs of New York was fucking amazing. Yeah. He's the only guy. He's the only method actor mm. that I truly love. Like a guy yeah. who I I could tell sits on on fucking set and he's that dude just the whole time. Yeah. Don't try to talk to Daniel Day Lewis. Yeah. He's You're just... talking to the butcher. That's the fucking guy. I think he's probably right. yeah. he's probably one of the great, great, great actors of all time. But in terms of being real reality, I think De Niro, it, it, the shit he did when he was good, when he played Max Cady, which the old days. Uh, Max, Max Cady, Cady was a great character, is too. tremendous. Absolutely. And then Denzel, in gl- his glory cry, uh, is, oh yeah, could yeah, yeah, be yeah, yeah, the best. Yeah, that, I mean, it just I was forgot how good he was in glory. Tremendous yeah. actor, man. So oh there's a few, but I think that I think I don't I don't put Nicholson up there. Um, Pacino was pretty good when he was not uh, the over the top. The, Pacino. Before over the top, Pacino, he was great. But he was not. See, but he was the same Pacino before he became over the top. Pacino. I don't know. He was this Pacino. But, he was like, watch out. But yeah, guy. he was. He, he was, was this guy. guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he was this guy. Kind of. In every movie, he hey, didn't go. My, my my father's business. I'm gonna take a legit. I'm gonna. And then yeah. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Even he, in The Godfather, he was that for like a little bit. So oh, he became. When he yelled at uh, Kay for uh, getting the abortion. Mm, yeah, was a, no, 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 not over the top. Um, uh-huh. the other guy. The, oh yeah, the quiet one. The quiet guy. Yeah. He was that guy for a minute, and then uh, Sin of a Woman kind of yeah, took him into hua. the hua. The hua got him. Now some guys have great presence, mm-hmm. you know, and 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 that's um, like Pesci. Yeah, he's yeah, like, Pesci. You yeah. know, he's doing him, but he has great. I, you know, this is just a fan. That's of, true, I'm yeah. just talking as a fan of movies and shit. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, and actresses, I, I just say there's only one actress alive, and that's Meryl Streep. I mean, yeah. other than that, mm. do I see actresses be able to mm. to be as big as her? Yeah. I, I'm not really. Well, I only like Pesci as <laughs> that guy. I, I don't like Pesci in any other fucking role. I, I what mean, has he done that's not... <sighs> you don't even know, like, really. home, like yeah. home Alone? In a comedy, but he was, that was, was good before in Home Alone. he was Pesci, though. Yeah, but I don't. I he like, was good in Home Alone. Uh, yeah, but I like him being you're that just, you motherfucker, just, you Jew motherfucker. I get what you're saying, that's but, the guy. But that's an exception to yeah. what you're trying to say. I'm gonna take your fucking head. I'm gonna stick it through that fucking hole. That shit. You, you, there's no one better at doing that guy. And and being a little dude, and he yeah, convinces yeah. you that he stabbed a giant man right, in right. his neck with a pencil. Hey, yeah. Fantastic. I knew this was coming. Uh, both of you guys liked Waterworld, and uh, I, I can't argue that point because I don't even remember seeing Waterworld. I've seen it many times. It's been, it's been way many, too long. Many times. But, but, but watching it thinking, hold on. this sucks. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, why? Well, with that said, Ace ah. in Pittsburgh is going to challenge you, Patrice. Ace. Yes. Ace is hi. <laughs> Good morning. First of all, I know I'm walking into a losing battle with Patrice. Oh. Not true. I'm open no, to you're tough. <laughs> I'm open. I'm you're, t- oh. you're tough in a debate, sir. I'm open to seeing why does Waterworld suck. Right, right. Why does you're it suck? Tough, though, Let's bro. hear it. 
<laughs> well, there is there is an inkling of hope being that uh, Jimmy changed his mind on Face Off, so I do have a little bit of hope. I hate and I saw fa- and by the way, just saw it recently too. I wanted t- I wanted to t- tweet after I watched Face Off. <laughs> it is bad. All right, bad. <laughs> Good, Jimmy yeah. hit me hard. It it's is fucking bad. It's so bad. You know what I realized about Face Off is that John Woo. Yeah. Sometimes you're you're painted in a corner about being you. You got it. And you want to grow, mm-hmm. but you you grow, but you can't move on from being you. You got to do the slow motion, two he, two guns in your hand, sideways. He was <laughs> pretending to be him. Yes. Directing yes. that movie. Right. And I and it even got worse yeah. as I watched it. It's bad. It, it, and, and Nicolas Cage is another one that plays Nicolas Cage uh, in every movie. And he's over the top. We're getting that short list together. Cage. Now we got Marky Mark, Morgan Freeman, sorry, but he pulls it but he, he pulls it off though. He's he pulls in the it off. Zone. You watch Shawshank? Not, Come on. Who he's else a, is playing that role in Shawshank? He's Get a the fuck out of here. role. Right. I, he's enough. that guy. Yeah. He's amazing as that, his that him. Guy. But he doesn't change too much. He was even great in Bruce Almighty. I, I, I'm saying he pulls it off. <laughs> okay. As God. <laughs> like him. Nicholas Cage plays Nicholas Cage in every fucking movie. <laughs> well, you get Nicholas Cage every is single time. deep shit, Opie. He is doing straight to fuck. He's got to take any I know. He's bad a, he's had a, movies. He's had a fall. Uh, okay. Ace, did you explain uh, yeah, your right, right. thing? What you got? Well, look, the, the, Colt, the Kevin Costner thing kind of goes along with the Nicolas Cage premise. He's the same guy in every movie, nearly. He has no emotion. He was the water yeah. guy in The Postman. But see, yeah. I'm going to tell you something. We're talking movies. Same guy that was on the now, horse. You can't, right. yeah. you, when you look at Schwarzenegger, you go movie for movie. Schwarzenegger right. is him. So you go, hey, is Running Man good? Is six is uh, uh the sixth whatever good? Yeah, sixth day. The sixth day wasn't a great film. No. Running Man was yeah. an all timer to me. Yeah. But they're both just Schwarzenegger. So we're but talking he did Kevin Pregnant Guy in Junior. I'm just throwing that out there. Right. But but Schwarzenegger will do bad movies, then he'll do good ones. Yeah. Kevin Costner who was Kevin Costner in The Untouchables, which is another all-timer. Yeah, might, yeah. It, that might be another gangster film that's that I watched before Godfather. That's a good one. And I'll, and I'll give you credit for that. But so, is, if you're a movie fan, like a real like snobby movie buff, you're not going to like movies like Waterworld. And the that's Batman. the problem, yeah, sir. But who gives a the shit? Problem is, the problem is, do you like any of the Friday the 13th? Like, yeah. I don't like them all, but I love three. So it's like, it's about what you like. Did you like Dances with Wolves? I could not watch it. I'm supposed to watch it? Yeah, yeah. It, I I cannot watch, Can't watch two that. seconds of that fucking <laughs> watch. I try and try. It's so slow, fucking long. But I'm going to tell you what. Plotting, yeah. There's a lot of things in movies that I can't recall right now. an editor. But one of them that I can't stand yeah. is uh, my people. We will be there with our people. And our people you didn't like the love Indian our people. Guy. Any movie where Indians are saying my people. <laughs> <laughs> and then my people, they say my people. My people are my people. <laughs> my my and, my there's, people. and there's one fucking younger one that wants to change everything. Yeah, yeah. And then the older one, they did my bad name. No, no, no. Uh, no. Back, no, they not, yeah. annoy me. Tonka. Yeah, but the fact <laughs> Kevin Costner stunk in Waterworld <laughs> is not a good argument. I, I tell you why, man. The movie in itself, Dennis Hopper was very entertaining yeah, yeah, he was as good. the boss of the of the worst people on the world. <laughs> um, <laughs> the fucking smokers. <laughs> the smokers where did he get the smokers they from? Were, it, it, and he was good was as horrible. a loner. Guy who lives on it, escapes the smokers, fishes for giant sea monsters when he's hungry, yeah. fucking can breathe underwater. Doesn't care about no the little girl. The idea of that movie was pretty fucking... Matter of fact, Waterworld is close to what Aquaman should be. Should be. Okay, yeah. so let me ask you, let me ask you this. All right. When he gets to the atoll and the Chinese guy wants him to, to mate with his daughter. Yes. And they find out he's a mutant. Yes. And they flip shit. Well, that doesn't make any sense. You live in a world filled with water. Wouldn't you want to be nice to a guy that can breathe underwater? Well, in that scene, sir, I will be fair. I've seen this movie so many times, and and that's one of the scenes that could bother you. Yeah, yeah. But here's the problem with that. Here's the thing that about that scene. Yeah. They were offended anyway. They yeah. were looking for any reason to kill this guy. <laughs> right. Because they were dying. He said that. Yeah. You people are dying. People are dying. 
I, there's nothing. And he explained it later. Really, why he didn't fuck the girl is because he's never been with one. He's he's some weird yeah. mutant with web toes. So when when he said no and they wanted to attack he got him, vaginas behind his ears. It was based on them being <laughs> un, unreasonable weirdos. Right. But there was the guy who was protecting them yeah. who said, "You're not gonna do this." Like you can't, he was a reasonable guy. He said, what are you doing? They were pissed off that he wouldn't mate with their, their little thing that they were offering. Yeah. So the, the suspension of disbelief, I can see where it could take you out. Like what the fuck are they so mad about? Right. But it, they, they're weirdos. Everybody's yeah, fucking yeah, they're weirdos. All fucked up. They live on water. They've been they drink sitting in that eight hole and they fucking yeah. they they love ski boots. They want ski boots. <laughs> they just wanted his ski boots. So this fucking weirdo who 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 and trust me, he was a weirdo because he breathed underwater. Yeah. Not everybody mutated into into a, a half fish, half man thing. Right. That's how he got land. They was like, where the fuck are you getting this land from? Actually, the guy that looked like he was from White Snake wanted the fucking boots. <laughs> yeah, the other <laughs> David, <laughs> David Coverdale wanted a, the fucking boots. I wouldn't even say Waterworld's a, a, a good, bad movie. Like, I would yeah, say yeah, yeah. I enjoy I like it. Waterworld. It Come was on. well done. Come it's on. just that people were anti, anti Kevin Costner. At the time, yep. I enjoyed the exhibit at yep. Disney. It was awesome. To hey, you know out, something? Man. I love that. It. Was that was great? Those the actors plane were amazing. And the fucking jet skis yeah, and shit. Exactly. That is great. You know how to work those jet skis. That is great. Hey, so you done with this? <laughs> yeah, you know, I came into this argument thinking I would need a, a plethora, if you will, of arguments for you. I don't know. I think I, Patrice I, just forced yeah. me to watch Waterworld just because he sucked. Oh, just because Kevin Costner Thanks, stunk. Ace. You is no see if I say that I don't think Jack Nicholson is a fantastic actor, he yeah. makes fantastic movies. Yeah. Like he, if you if you add up twenty movies, twenty actors, and you go, okay, if I was stuck, mm -hmm. which actor would I take his collection of films and be stuck with for the right. rest of my life? Uh, I, I I say Schwarzenegger, and then. But you can easily say Jack Nicholson. If you're a real movie fan, he has a, such a, a wide range of shit you can watch. Mm -hmm. De Niro. I, I, I mean, he's amazing. De Niro. De Niro did a couple good comedies, and he's got yeah. the gangster stuff. He's all over the place. Watching I mean, Midnight that, nice Rider is the best comedy I've ever seen. Nice and variety, that yeah. was fucking hysterical. I think it's still the one of yeah. the best movies I've ever seen. He was suffering from uh, fistophobia in a minute. <laughs> but he was so good. <laughs> him and, him and, him and, oh. A bunch of people want to add Gene Hackman to the list. He plays Gene Hackman. Every time. And Gene he's Hackman. I know and he's phenomenal. I'm not saying that this means they're hacky. It just uh, what's, the, what's the one him and really him and good. Denzel did? Oh shit! In the submarine, and I uh, hate yes, yes, I hate yes. closed movies. That's come closed. on, here it is. Come on, people, where is it? The submarine movie. Submar Red October. No. no, that was the other one. Grey Lady Down. <laughs> no, dude. Uh, uh, Crimson Tide. Dude. Crimson Tide. Dude. Crimson Tide. Dude. Really good. Crimson his, Tide. His thank, thank you, uh, Adam. His exchange. They they just he's I love Gene Hackman mm -hmm. as Gene Hackman yeah like even in Superman original Superman it just was I I think he's a phenomenal dude oh fuck man forgot about he was that. he was great as Lex Luthor Mr. he Luthor. was great as Lex Luthor Mister Luthor <laughs> I, I got another one that yeah. saves face even in bad movies because he's so damn good but he plays himself in every movie Robert Duvall. Really, uh, I would I would say Robert Duvall, phenomenal. And I'm not saying that means he's a bad actor, but he definitely plays Robert Duvall in just about every movie. Colors, he was Robert. And Duvall. even in a, the shittiest movie where he has a cameo, he does his part to perfection every uh, fucking let me, time. Let me, let, me, let me think of that Phen for just a second. Let me let me say. Not sure. De Niro might be the greatest. I'm gonna put him as the greatest from his. I, you know, you, you to recall some of the shit is, but the. The Russian roulette scene in The Deer Hunter. Oh my God! Is right. the greatest scene I've ever seen in the movie. Wow. That it, fucking scene it, when he's just telling him to do it, Nikki. Come on, show these motherfuckers. That is what some and, of the best acting. And he goes. He looks yes. at, the, at the at the at the guy, the the, the oh, fucking VC, the and goes, hate. "Oh, you." It, his you. his frustration yeah. oh. of wanting to kill this guy oh. is there's nothing. Better this, oh, his face. He fucking shows with his face the hate. It's even on fucking YouTube. walking the deer hunt. Walking became a different scene. entity. 
Walken just became a different person. Come on! He's not that guy. Fuckers, these fuckers. Go ahead, Nikki. Go ahead, Nikki. It's gonna be all right. That's a bad song. It's gonna be all right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, you're gonna. And they're laughing at him. Didn't you hate these fucking Vietnamese? Motherfucking! Oh, you fucking hated them. I do three bullets. Three. Three. We do three, huh? One, two, three. Three. How do they not know what he's up to? <laughs> How do these dumb fucking <laughs> motherfuckers not know what he's up to? This fucking movie is yeah, a fucking come on. Fucking protest. We ain't giving him three fucking bullets. Three. He's the maniac of this group. Mm, three? We do three. We do three bullet. Three. Three. We give you and we, we give you a gun with three bullets in it. Oh, look at De Niro. He's great in this, man. Oh my god. You give three. How about four and the machine gun? How about machete? We give you RPG. Uh, Russian machete. Grenades and rope ladder. <laughs> and the fact that they're in the middle of fucking nowhere, like with this shit going on. <laughs> they're all laughing, you motherfucker. <laughs> he just starts oh. smiling at him. He just starts smiling at him. Oh. There. Uh, Throws the gun down. There. Uh. I do one thirty round banana clip. <laughs> oh, smack him. And walking so pathetic in this, man. Uh, but as we all would be. I know. Of course. There's a, there's like De Niro's the fucking man in this right here. Ouch. Uh, he's like, uh. oh, oh, God damn it! It's gonna be all right, Nikki. Go ahead, shoot. Oh, shoot, Nikki. Oh, grabs her. Yeah, this. Oh, these. You just hated these fuck. Oh, you got. Oh, you're gonna die, this motherfucker. You're gonna die. He's, he's so fucking frustrated. Oh, holy shit. Yeah, that that is a great fucking scene, man. <laughs> now he knows they got one in the fucking chamber. Oh. Now he knows. Now he's looking at him like, hey, we got it. He's crying. He's crying, he's crying like, oh. we fucking got a loaded chamber right now. These motherfuckers are dead. He's like, I got it. I got it. Yeah, these dummies. All right. All right. Yeah, you're dead. You're fucking dead. <laughs> the way he looks at him right there. Oh, like you are so dead. Oh, De Niro's great. He just starts laughing and then goes all serious again. Working up that, working up that fucking moment. We blows their fucking brains out. Ah, that's fantastic. Yeah, bitch. Oh, wow. You hated Dude. those fucking wow. guys. You Dude. fucking hated it's those crazy. Dude, I'm telling you, yeah. that is, it, it's hard. And I'm going to tell you, Barnes, Barnes oh, yeah. after, Sergeant Barnes after he fucking uh, frags yeah, Elias, yeah, Elias in the in the room uh -huh, with, with Elias' boys, yep. punking them. Y'all love life. Is is very close yep very like at the end of the scene you go good god i want to be that guy one day <laughs> yeah yeah in a, in a situation <laughs> barnes and 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 there's things in that scene i rewind right he spits on oh, charlie yeah. sheen yeah yeah he fuck it i shit on all you he's gonna kill charlie he's really gonna yeah, kill yeah. him and fucking uh don't, anthony don't, quinn's kid don't, is don't like do don't it. do it barnes don't do it barnes he cuts his eye and, he, and it's just death. It's fantastic. What do you all know yeah. about death? Like he, he's, all he's all fucked up. up. Yeah. He's, he's all fucked up. All kinds of fucked up. It, it's it, movies. I can't get enough of you, them. You know what? You know what? One one scene that's fantastic with him is when they're playing fucking poker, 
And he tells the, the other guy, tells the lieutenant, he goes, what are you saving up to be, Jewish? And Barnes looks down like, whoa. whoa, whoa. And he la- he actually finds out so funny that Barnes dips his head down and goes like, whoa, whoa, whoa. This fucking killer. This guy that had his face blown apart, he found that hysterical where he had to start laughing. Sergeant Barnes in, pl- in platoon, you know, it's just, you go, you watch something like that, and you go, well, you know, you you, it makes you mad at Hollywood sometimes because yeah, you go, yeah, yeah. how can they not have something else from, from I know, Tom Berenger? For Tom Berenger. And Berenger has become, now he's like an old fat man like Val yeah, Kilmer. Yeah. When the fuck did Val Kilmer become a, yeah, what a like a fat man? A long time he's a ago fat old point. guy. A fat old dude. He was a young fucking like. Val's been the fat Hollywood for a long guy. time now. You don't realize uh, how much time wow, has passed. Look at the third picture. Oh in. my god! Wow. Go third picture. He in. was sexy guy for. Look, look at him with the. Wait, oh oh god. my god! Now, go back. Go back <laughs> when he's spinning. When he's spinning the volleyball on his finger from fucking Top Gun. Oh my god! Yeah. That, is, that time he sucks. Used to be, he used to be off. sexy Woo. guy. He was fucking. Uh, he was the door. The it guy. He yeah. was that guy. He, he was, was that guy for a minute. I think yes. he changed after the doors. He started getting fat. Wow. He's a yeah. fat old dude. Yeah. Meaning he can't get back to that guy. No. And Tom Berenger plays like he's always a he's always a senator uh, guy now. You know, yeah, he's yeah. A, He's a fat senator he guy. He can't be the Barnes guy anymore. He's starting to look like John Goodman in some of these photos. Oh, my God. Is he fucking fat? Holy shit. What happened? Oh wow. Bar- <laughs> Barringer and Platoon. Yeah, it's... Like, I go, this guy's my new favorite motherfucker. I'm going to tell you who they played out, too, that you go, oh, big time, big time. Yeah. They played out Ving Rhames. Uh-huh. Like, he was, oh, shit, this motherfucker's going to be the new... Badass it's, it's motherfucker. Like, nah, we're we yeah. going to make him... Nah, no, nah. we're not going to let him be who you think we're going to let him be. I loved him in the fucking remake, yeah. Dawn of the Dead. That was fucking but great. But that was a good movie. That was a great fucking movie. That was a good movie. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God damn. Yeah, it's so all good. Yeah. God damn, boy. But I was just been watching uh, movies. That's just lately, I've been, just I've been doing the same movies. thing. Nothing. And, and the same fucking movies I've been watching. <laughs> we, and they're fantastic. <laughs> I, I saw Harry Potter. So. <laughs> I, heard, I, I heard that. That was all right. I've never seen one. You've never seen no. Harry Only Potter because movies. because, you know, there's some movies you go, eh, it took, I'm going to tell you what, I, 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 this may be I, sacrilegious. I may lose a lot of oh, sure. white friends behind this. Oh, shit. Okay. I know what you're going to say. Lord, I, Lord of the Rings. No. No? Oh, okay. Lord of the Rings. Fuck me I, running. I, I actually. All uh, right. <laughs> I c- could not uh, get through. Um, I haven't watched the entire Raging Bull. Oh, oh wow! Wow! Oh, I hey, apologize wow, to white people yeah, for that. Just I want to thank uh, Patrice for dropping <laughs> yeah, in today. I, I can't uh, they're telling us you have to go, sorry. Patrice. Uh, you just blew the whole I know, hour. I, you I, said. I know. You just you did, did a brilliant hour, and in one statement, you just fucked up the whole hour. We were gonna go to break. Oh my god! Can you give me so quick break? I have a nine hundred kids. You blew it. I try because I know I'm supposed to. Oh boy! I just don't know. You should have kept that to yourself. I don't know how to watch it. It's a masterpiece. Oh, my God. I'm watching I know, I know. Uh, so it's I'm a watching masterpiece. Clips. I don't know how to oh, watch it. God. You don't know how to I watch don't know it. How. <laughs> I, tell me how to watch oh, it. Bro. <laughs> do, do you understand? Oh, God. Oh, Just watch boy. it. How's that? Oh, my I, God. I, I, oh, my the God. The fucking it. end of that movie where he's just fat in that club. It's it, amazing. It, it, it's, I sit it's when he's punching. Requiem for a heavyweight. It's, it's all that. Look at it. It's, it's fantastic. Yeah. And a streetcar oh. named Desire. I, I tried. I've never seen I, that. I, I wish she, Patrice was in when we were doing the Mickey Rooney thing, too. Oh, my God. Maybe after heard, the break. I maybe we might it, have to revisit. After the break, we might have to we might revisit. Have to revisit. Okay. Because it's just way too well, I, funny. I, I, I didn't realize that scene was yeah. in that movie. Yeah, Patrice, like, can I that, apologize, though? You, you, you can apologize. Not that I'm proud of it. I just can't I would never. You. I would never ask you for an apology, except for this situation. Yeah, that's that one's a little rough. <laughs> Do I have to hug all people that fucking love Rachel Bull? <laughs> I, have to, I have to apologize. You I'm might sorry. have to do a Tracy Morgan and apologize oh, to everybody. Fucking Frank Vincent's <laughs> you might in have this. To go Listen, on don't, tour. Vincent's no, in it. The, please, don't, in it. please don't convince uh, me that it's great. Uh, it's like if somebody said they don't like Jaws, mm-hmm. I would be very bothered by that. Yeah, yeah. But... I, I, you know, I, I didn't say I didn't like it. I don't know how to watch it. That's another one. Uh, hold on. Fucking Robert Shaw in Jaws. When he gives that speech. What do you think? <laughs> Amazing. The one where he the, 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 tells about the fucking the, uh, the Hiroshima bomb. Yeah, yeah. Tells about uh, 
That is that prob for me. Indianapolis, I, I, I would probably say it's, it, it probably would be in the top ten yeah, all yeah. time. But I I like the scene where he. I'm a sucker in movies for the scene where the person explains the evil huh? in the movie. Yeah. When he scratches the board and he's oh. like, you know. Oh, that's a great scene. Y'all know me. Yeah. That no, is, I do to me, is better than than the one on the boat. Yeah. I, 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 like I know that. people would, would probably tell me, said, fuck, but when he explains that this is this fish will swallow you whole, yeah. this it costs $10,000 to fuck with this fish. This punk ass, too, you getting. That'll help. That was, I'll point at that motherfucker and say, there it is. Down you go. <laughs> so if you idea. want your fucking. That scene. It's phenomenal. That's a good one. Yeah, I, I like that one too. That's a that's a that's a good argument. When he leaves, yeah. that, that is a great scene. Mayor, chief, ladies, gentlemen, and then he just walks and out. And he's just driving his boat around, watching yeah. them all f just <laughs> live. <laughs> yeah, really, you caught that tiger shot? Go yeah, fuck yeah. yourself. Yeah. <laughs> that that, that, that was eating children. That on ain't this the motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, he just drives by, like, bah, looking at them all patting themselves on the back. <laughs> he's pleasure boning. Yeah, everyone yeah, else yeah. thinks they're uh, you know, catching the monster. You think that's ain't that kid? Yeah, 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 think yeah, again. yeah, yeah. Hi, everybody. Yeah. I, 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 you know, but I, I'm not saying don't. You don't have to convince me about nah, Rachel Bull. I just like re. I just recently sat and absorb Rocky. Yeah, yeah, I used yeah. to say Rocky 3 was better than original. Mm. I, I'm entertained by Rocky 3. Yes. But Rocky but is a, a story, great film. Right. Rocky as a story it's is a better is great. film. As an action movie and, and and with a little more of a cartoony character thing y yes. with Mr. T, y yes. you can't fucking beat 3. Mr. T in 3, that was the best thing he's ever done. Not not that he's done all which, genius which, shit which is, anyway. He, but, he, he may be, and, and if you're talking villains... He could be in the top that, that ten a, villains of right. all time. In that the was a great fucking bad guy. He was brutal. Hey woman, hey woman, won't you come by? I'm gonna I'll fuck your you wife. What Rocky? a real man's like. He's like right in front of the public, the beloved Rocky in his own fucking city, and he's saying he's gonna fuck his wife. Oh, yeah. The truth oh, is, great. we both started out on the same corner, yeah. and I got lucky with my life, and it's driving you nuts. Yeah. Philadelphia salutes its favorite son. Rocky Balboa. <laughs> they get a statue, and then Mr. T. Why don't you tell all these nice folks why you've been ducking me? Oh, this he was guy is a rocking machine. Oh, yeah. You know, you've got a big mouth. Come on, come on, close it, Balboa. The whole world was standing there. Oh, yeah. Come on, Balboa. Balboa was a fine champion, but his time has passed. See that look in their eyes, right? Ah, oh, shit. Got to get that look back, Rock. Yeah. I'm the tiger, come on. I'm the tiger. I'm destroy any man who tries to take what I got. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I'm going to torture him. I'm going to crucify him. Basically, Tyson. Really? Tyson. Oh, the first time Tyson. 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 Yeah. Way before Tyson. Tyson. Why not? Yeah. Why There's not? nothing wrong with being afraid. You thought I was tough? This job will kill you. Bye. You wake up after a few years thinking you're a winner, but you're not. There is no tomorrow. You're really yeah. losing. Yeah. Well, I don't believe it. There is no tomorrow. Oh, shit. Dang, 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 dang. That's how they all start. <laughs> you got to get the belt. Come on, yeah. Yeah, Rocky. You're kicking ass now. Fuck that club of Lang. It's Rocky's greatest challenge. <laughs> oh, that's the old school trailer. trailer. Yeah. His marriage. Voice. And his manhood against his most devastating and dangerous opponent. Oh, bless you all. Go for it. Go for it. Sylvester so Stallone, Talia Shire, Burgess Meredith, Carl Weathers, Burt Young, and introducing Mr. T. <laughs> introducing Rocky Three, an American tradition. <laughs> yeah. was great. Mr. T was so good. <laughs> I rooted for Rocky. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can I tell you something? That stupid music to this day gives me the goosebumps. What's man. the best scene? What the fuck? In all twelve movies. The best, best scene? scene. Oh shit! I don't. In know. all of them. Ah. Uh, I got mine. Right, that's, that's not tough. even a challenge. That's a tough one. I I, I yeah. I'd have to think. I, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was thinking I won't stop fighting. I was, I was, uh, <laughs> come here, come here, Rocky. Oh, I was thinking I, I won't uh, fight no more, you uh, know, because you're sick in the bed. Uh, uh, come here, come here. What are you, uh, win? What are you waiting uh, for? Uh, <laughs> it's yeah, so corny. Yeah.
<laughs> but it hits me every time. Yeah. Like, there you go, bitch. Let him get his shit together. <laughs> right. I think it's in every movie when they go through the montage, the workout montage, and then it ends with the... Yeah, yeah. And the music, <laughs> and, you, and you're like, ah, but here it comes. Here comes the fight, ah. But the movie has a tell. He doesn't get his shit together until that music yeah, starts. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, but you think he might powerful. have his shit together, but nope, the music hasn't started yet, so yeah, he still yeah. has to figure out a couple more things. Yes. The Rocky music, oh, but shit. don't confuse <laughs> getting uh, going stronger right, right, right. with uh, ding. No, do, 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 ding. Do, 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 that's when it goes, do, 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 do. yeah. That's a different ding, 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 music. Ding. That's the fucking like crazy. All right, there's gonna be some fucking ass kicking. And Burgess Meredith was just great in those movies. Ah. How many did he? Do? Ah. Uh, well, which one did he die in? He three? died in died three. In three. Three, right? Yeah, fucking. He died fucking Mr. Three. T killed the motherfucker. Which we talked about years ago. How Rocky's crying in three. Yeah. You should have laughed <laughs> at it, but. You couldn't understand a word he was fucking saying. I but think he it was, was real. Upset. But I, he was upset. Because he's like, I'm going to do seven more movies, but <laughs> Mickey's dead. How can you kill yeah, Mickey? Oh, and it was real because, uh, the, you know, Burgess Meredith didn't have many years left nah, to begin with. Yeah. Oh. And now you're killing him off in this great fucking series. Uh, he was going to plug something. What, what was you looking at? You for me. Oh, no. Uh, oh, no, I wanted yeah. to make sure you get a plug. And we were going to we were going to go to break 10 minutes ago. Which <laughs> we should so, break soon. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, well, yeah. I got there's something I'm supposed to. Oh, two things. Three things quickly. I'm I'm locally. I'm at the Treehouse on like the twenty third uh, in Connecticut. That's up, way up the road. Next time I'm working, mm -hmm. way up the road. And I'm I'm making my triumphant return to Phoenix, Arizona, to a place oh. called Stand Up Live. Not right. the improv. A place called Stand Up Phoenix. Live in Phoenix, Arizona. It'll be and on then, your Twitter, right? Uh, yeah, I'll tweet Mama Prods. For, if my if my girl tweets, it, if she uh, gives dates. a shit anymore, she'll tweet. It. <laughs> and yeah. then I I will also um, I have a thing coming out. Uh, it's an article in Motor Trend. Ooh. It's called Celebrity Cars. Get the fuck out of here. In MotorTrend.com. That's, that's coming out this on week it? on the 15th. No. What? Oh. They just, they, they, they write an article and they show the car that, uh, <laughs> a, a celebrity drives. So they yeah. did a, they did a spread. I took my own pictures. Oh, you did? Yeah. And, yeah. uh, in, uh, in my, uh, Durango. Oh, my so 2011 your Durango. Car. Yeah, is it all pimped out? No, I, I stopped that years Stock. ago. Stock. Pimping out your car fucks up the value, fucks yeah. up the ride. If you put bigger rims on it. I know. It's Believe it me, the, up, the engineers know yeah. what the fuck the tires so to put on the fucking vehicle. Don't mess with it. It's, you it fuck with the, if you fuck no. with the tire size, you're fucking with the rear end ratio. You're fucking with everything. You're fucking with your yeah. car. And, I mean, it is what fuck it is. I, I, I did all that shit. I'm, I, <laughs> you know. I, sorry. I don't know why I'm laughing because Sam just puts up Gallagher. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because Patrice is here. Now everyone thinks he's a racist because of Patrice. Oh, oh God! Gallag I, I forgot Gallagher about is, that. Though, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I yeah. got stories we, upon stories. We, I, we just, but we busted it open. I don't think he wanted this busted show. open. Yeah, I don't think I'm he saying. wanted that busted uh, open. He got he got this club owners that talk that tell me stories about Gallagher. Yeah. Uh, he called. That's where I actually got the term when I used the word nigglet. Yeah, yeah. It, this story, a story, a club owner that with Gallagher called one of the waitresses a little nigglet, or <laughs> or he goes little, how you little nigger girl. Wow! It, well, I'm telling you, Gallagher is a complete ass. And this is what the club owner. And that said. is, I, I have no idea. Well, we you just have what? to say this, that. Oh, sorry about that. That yeah, well, that's, that's what he's saying. Which is that's fine. Just okay. say, yeah, that's what you're saying. Yeah. But but it does bring to light that that whole smash in the watermelon thing. Like he. He puts a lot into that, oh. and that might be a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you think there's something yeah, else there's going something on? Yeah, there's something behind that. We have to say, uh, it's, 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 uh, it's assumed, or is it, I yeah. heard, alleged. alleged. There was alleged no, reports, Gallagher. reports had it that Gallagher, <laughs> yeah. uh, he's also bringing in where he smashes a bucket of fried chicken <laughs> and uh, some watermelon. And he ain't the only and, old school comic either. Nah. These motherfuckers run around. I got 40 Names that I go out. Oh, really? Here's another piece another of dog fucking... shit. <laughs> fuck him and his watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> Ass wipe. Uh, still smashing shit. All right, we're uh, oh, we're crap. gonna break. Yeah, uh, we're gonna do the Mickey Rooney thing again because Patrice is here. He'll, yeah. he'll have a nice angle on that. Also, uh, do you watch Celebrity Rehab? 
Not at all. Yeah, I didn't think so. I'm going to hit the jumper. It's, this is part of the tease. <laughs> uh, another success story. Dr. Drew trying to help celebrities, and we have another success story. I know about it. About. I know and about then we got a whole it. list of success stories for this uh, Dr. Drew and celebrity rehab. So mm. I'm going to run through the list. All right, really fast. This celebrity rehab. Uh, did the new season start there, Sam? You know a bit about this show. Yeah, they're like two or three episodes deep. They are? Mm-hmm. Who's on the new one? Amy Fisher, I know. Yeah, Amy Fisher, Byling, Michael uh, Lohan. Michael Lohan, Stephen Adler's back. See, I thought he... Wasn't he on our show and we would hug him and stuff and go, congratulations, yeah, like, you look great. And he's, he's like, like yeah, yeah, man, I'm never going back to that. He goes, I know, because I know it'll, it'll kill me. It'll kill me. <laughs> oh, there you go. So Adler's back. Yeah, Adler's We're back. We're actually not surprised Jesus. whatsoever. Big crocodile. Oh, I know, 17 foot. Sean Young. Fuck. Sean Young. Mm. Sean Young? Mm. Remember Sean Young? What happened to her? Yeah, she know, fucking decided stripes. to drink her, her face off. Oh, oh yeah, Sean Dwight... Young is on here. Yeah, Dwight Can Gooden. Dwight here? Gooden. Yeah, go, let's start from the top again. Sean Young had horrible banana tits. All right, you got Amy Fisher with the drawn in eyebrows. Very good, by the way. Very good. <laughs> Ooh, who's, who's, that who's by, yeah, I, I who's forgot by Ling? Ling? Hold on, hold on. We're going to start from the top. Amy Fisher with the worst fucking face <laughs> wait, job wait, I've wait. ever seen. That's Amy Fisher? Yeah, she yeah. fucked up her face. Look, okay, could you get a bigger picture of, of that? Because I can't believe that's her. That's Amy Fisher now. Are you shitting yeah, me? Yeah, everyone's talking about what the fuck Dude, did she, she do to her face? she could walk right the fuck by me, and I would not know that was Amy Fisher. She what? was a hot young thing. What is yeah, that? she was the fucking dirty girl from what? Long Island. Did she uh, Long go, Island Lolita. Did she go to some local doctor in uh, Hicksville? <laughs> yeah, she went to fucking... How about you come to New York City, you dope? <laughs> yeah, well, Colin's saying she, she must have went like to Ron Conkama. Uh, yeah. She like uh, Fergie now from the... They all yes. look the same. She want to look like Fergie. Either Fergie... <laughs> or, wow, that doesn't look anything Mickey like Mickey Rourke. Mickey Rourke. <laughs> she, uh, yeah, man, she she was doing all right, and then she fucked up her face. She looks nothing like. Then like you got Bai Ling, who's famous. She's one of those uh, celebrities. She's famous for I don't know what really. She had a couple of like speaking two languages of thumb. Uh, she had a, to Jimmy. <laughs> a couple movie roles that I can't even remember. Yeah. She looks so so Asian too. She looked like she probably yeah, has but, an awful accent. Oh uh, yeah. Then yeah, you got Dwight does. Gooden. And the story with uh, Dwight Gooden didn't let him. Who looks like who looks like um, Keith David, by the way? <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, <laughs> he looks yes. like Keith David now. <laughs> Get us some of this sideways pussy! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> There's a story about Dwight Gooden. I think was it Lenny Dykstra trying to like break him out of the celebrity rehab because he he thought that there was uh, he was being held against his will. Oh Jesus! Was it Lenny Dykstra? Someone out there positive. knows more than I about this dumb show. Wow. <laughs> Fucking Dwight Gooden. What happened to the Doc? Doc yeah. Gooden. And who's Jeremy Jackson? He's the kid who was on Baywatch. Oh, wasn't he also in that show where they were supposed to bring back child stars? Of a teen Idol. The never no, one. the child star yeah, one. Yeah, where, that's, that's where they the were one. bringing them back and making them famous again. Yep. He was oh, in that wow. show. And the guy from Blue Lagoon won or something. Yeah. Chris Atkins. I and think. I thought he was oh, supposed to be famous him. again because he won the show. And we haven't heard from him since the show. Ended. Exactly. He's doing chiller theater. All right. Who else? Oh, uh, Jessica Sugar. Kiper or Kipper? She was on Survivor. I don't know. Uh, Michael Lohan, uh -huh. Sean Young, Stephen Adler. Is that Adler. what she looks like now, Sean Young? Yeah, yeah. She looks pretty good. She, she, she kind of looks she the same. Yeah, yeah. 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 She, wow. yeah at least, I, at least she's recognizable as Sean Young. That's her all dollied up. I've seen photos of her. She's, uh, yeah, she's had a rough few years. Yeah. Mm. So celebrity rehab has started again. I don't even know why this show should be allowed to be on TV. Cause... And look at Dr. Drew looking all pensive. Yeah. yeah. Dr. Drew pensive, they should call him. Huh? All right. Well, we bring this up today because uh, he, had a, he had another success story. Rodney King, who was on season two, relapsed, DUI, <laughs> did a million things wrong while he was drunk dr driving. Really? Oh, yeah. This is the same like, thing as the fat shows. It's like yeah. they all go back it's, to being because fat. Because it's or... not even really helping. It's like Dr. No, Drew. He's just he not, not and Dr. Drew. It's a freak show. It's a perp walk. If They're a real doctor had people. his fucking, his, his, his percentage record? rate, <laughs> would, be would, you pay, would you pay to go see this disbarred. motherfucker? <laughs> He'd be disbarred. I don't know. People He'd are going to jump on you. Yeah, he would be thrown out. <laughs> With his yeah. deep thought picture. He'd be out of the regimen. What happened to Dr. Drew, he wants to be, and he is, he wants to be famous. To yeah. The, yeah. To the to the point where he doesn't give a fuck. He didn't that, care about a doctor. That he has all these horrible success stories. What kind of doctor is he? 
Is he a he's doctor an, of psychology? He's an addiction specialist. All right, look. That How about he drops the specialist part? And that don't but mean he used shit. To do, he used to do Love Line with Yeah, uh, with that. So what, he's an addiction specialist. That's who, his expertise. At least Dr. Oz is doing doctor shit. Like, uh, oh, yeah. And, I but, can't watch that, though. I doctor, think I have it. I don't think you should be able to have a doctor of psychology. I just don't think. No, he's an internist. Well, and in oh, oh, so he could cut you open right. and do some shit? I guess so. Not What's like Dr. William H. Cosby. <laughs> Junior, that honorary doctorate. Dr. Billy, Dr. William H. Cosby loves putting that doctor in front of his name. That's like, what? Doctor I don't think what? a doctor of psychology is, should, I don't, it's just like. <laughs> yeah, there are some people. It's just, you, you should be able to sue a psychologist. No one should be in it, yeah, able who, to be an honorary. It's practice. But yeah, no one yeah. should be able to be an honorary doctor. No, it's like being an honorary if, fucking if, general. If, if Bill can't if, do that, you if, can't go in the army and go, hey, by the way, I'm going to be a captain. If Bill Cosby wants to be an honorary doctor, they should make him perform a little minor surgery. Yeah. Or just, just call little, it. A little thing. Call yeah. it honorary yeah. Dr. Cosby. Right. Honorary <laughs> Dr. Cosby. William H. Cosby. Because now he's confused with the real. Real doctors that spend yes I got I got a nephew that's going into that crap yeah he explained to me he's not even gonna start making money until he's like <laughs> 32 I think he when said. he becomes a specialist yeah he's gonna be he's gonna run he, around and, and and really be an assistant uh two doctors yeah yeah he yeah. told me his schedule it's unbelievable and oh, the amount of money the they milk. make is nothing it, he's already done the four years of college now he's in medical school that's another four to six i think then after that he becomes an intern for four years or something which like is that. worse and than then, an intern for this show oh like, yeah well, well we wouldn't know we don't have him they work but, 70 to 80 hours <laughs> a week the shit and, out and and make no money <laughs> and it's hard and then work. eventually and it's all the bad shit even at the 32 year old thing or whatever it is it's somewhere whatever around that there. age that's Close not that. a guarantee. They, no. Like, they'll, they'll make 200 some thousand or 300 mm. Like, that's really good. Yeah. But when you're talking the money that people think doctors make, right. you're talking about a guy that, that fucking sows new hearts to your chest. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like, yeah. Heart, did he Cuts say your to, your head up. <laughs> to your chest? <laughs> oh, like, chest. Your new, Cuts your head open you shit. Know, <laughs> the fucking specialists yeah. Yeah. get yeah. mega money right. and the big money now is plastic surgery right mm -hmm. the biggest money so it's not crazy. even healing and helping and, and what about the bills from medical school and all that that you you're know, working, all the, all the student you're loans and all that for the, for the, for the fucking and then uh, the, university and then the fucking malpractice insurance these motherfuckers have to pay right but it's Dr. a huge Drew amount doesn't have to pay no. like, why would he have well, to for psychology i think a dentist can be called a doctor because he can do something that yeah, you can oral sue. surgery yeah you can come out Let's, with fucked up grill and Fucking <laughs> that sue that motherfucker. Let's do this. You know, let's do this quick. Fuck my, my uncle so, touched me funny. Yeah, like, yeah. Really? Did you yeah. really? You get paid for that? <laughs> <laughs> Here's the success success stories of celebrity rehab and uh, Dr. Drew. So uh, you know, riding the Rodney King thing, which happened yesterday or the day before. Yeah. He was from season two, and all these guys graduated. <laughs> Dr. Drew has a graduation oh, ceremony. Is it really? You're cured. Going to the real what world. What does he give him? I don't Does it give them a chip a or little, something? A little, uh, I think a certificate or a something. Certificate yeah, or something but that they completed the program. Some right. of those the the three fucking snort coke with it. They completed the three <laughs> weeks. They roll it up. Roll it up. Yes. <laughs> Dude, fucking mega rails. Up. Well, that's what that damn Tommy Sizemore did. He's on the same. Oh, yeah. And yeah. then poor Jeff, what's his name? Conway. That motherfucker yeah. was. He, Dr. He was, Drew should be sued. <laughs> yes. That's, 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 that's one of the guys. Jeff Conway. Yeah, some yeah. of, the, some yeah. of the people on that list also went through Sober House. It's not mentioned, but not. Not only did they go but through But he shouldn't have rehab. graduation ceremonies no. or nothing. No. Well, they, about, they survived a three-week TV show. Yeah. What, what about all the success stories? All right, here's the success stories. And I know a bunch of people on this that aren't on this list. Great. Like like uh, Dennis Rodman is a is a partying animal. Yeah, we just yeah. didn't have any specific references. But he hasn't, hasn't done anything wrong exactly. yet, I guess. Okay, so... Shifty, season one, graduated Shifty. from Celebrity Rehab. Did a little Sober House, too, I remember, right? Shifty? Yeah, from, uh, Who's Shifty? He's that, uh... Come, my lady, come, come, come my lady. Come, my yeah. Butterfly, come, sugar. Butterfly. Why would you say that as we all, oh, that's the thing. Oh, that's no, you know the song. song. You know the guy. Song? Can we play the song? Please. Go ahead. And Give us a little shift. And admit if you, if you know this yes. song? Yes. Okay. Uh, let me... Because right. fucking Sam's enthusiasm, come on, lady, come on, come on, lady. Come. I think yeah. I, I know it. I just, you know, this. I got to get it in my head. I'm so happy I don't know this song. You really yeah. don't? don't? It's big in the 90s. Well, uh, it's 90s, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is a 90s song? Yeah. 
butterflies in our- Yeah, that's that white hip-hop shit. And they got shit. booed yeah. off the stage at, what was it, Ozfest or something? Really? Oh, yeah. And the weak the guy there is shifty. That's probably why he fucking turned to dope. He shifted yeah, he to sh- after drugs. To- after he uh, went through the graduation ceremony of celebrity rehab, he relapsed multiple times, arrested for domestic disturbance. Mm. Okay. Uh, success story uh, number two for Dr. Drew is good old Stephen Adler. Stephen Adler. Season two and five, we've had him on the show. He looked great for a little while there. Still in celebrity rehab. <laughs> Jesus. And got high on television? When was that? I was in Sober House. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. When he was supposed to be sober in this sober Oh, when it was all fucked After up. graduation. Yeah. Was that when he was banging into the walls and yeah, shit? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he was fucked so up. So that's uh, success story number two. Yeah. Number three is China, season one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Started a legit career in porn, hospitalized after ODing on sleeping pills. This is oh. after graduating from <laughs> one of these on fun this, shows that Dr. Drew puts out. I thought she was on this, this year's. No, no. No? Oh, no. She's, uh... And she's back into porn. Yeah, right? she's oh, doing real she porn. Is. Okay. Not like homemade. Oh, the real shit now. Yeah. 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 She's like, she's now she's just getting real. Taking it in the poops to where Oh, anywhere. She, the movie is called Backdoor into China. She had a fall. <laughs> she, you have anything on it? She had a fall from fucking grace, man. She was huge. And, she was huge. Well, they stopped her from taking them roids and a clit shrunk. Yeah, and yeah. Fucking. <laughs> now, uh, poor little China, but I, I'm going to see. Then that's a good thing to do. That was a, tri- well. that was, that was a Triple H uh, debacle, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Uh, she was uh, never uh, the same. It was uh, alleged, yes, that Triple H. Uh, and then he started going out with his boss's daughter, and they said, hey, get that fucking bitch out of yeah, here. Yeah, we don't want the old girlfriend around. We don't want her around. Later. <laughs> oh, boy. She's a vivid girl now? Oh, yeah. Wow. Back door to China. It's just the trailer. Welcome to Hollywood. <coughs> Look at big tits. <laughs> big fake tits. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> That's like that. Uh, Oh, oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. There she is. Boy, who would have thunk watching (laughs) wrestling? Now, you were growing up to uh, watching China, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Sam? Yeah. You were were a kid when she was really popular, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Did you ever think you'd see her? No. (laughs) Sucking a cock? I didn't, but it's nice to see she's still alive. Well, that is true, given the, uh, you know, alternative. (laughs) Thank you, sir. Uh, oh, shit. The rest Whoa. of the girls aren't bad. Yeah, you gotta put girls. somebody in there. You gotta, you gotta put somebody in there. Uh, uh, is she getting fucked? I'll or? tell you what, she cannot <laughs> fuck, which is almost even... <laughs> <laughs> it's even sexier. Watch this big stiff... <laughs> Oh, look at the poor thing. She's just <laughs> terrible. She's practicing being she sexy. She bounces up and down. Uh, I don't know. It's like a centimeter up and down. But I'm such she's a movie. I'm such yeah, a groupie. Terrible. I I I am such a fucking. I love famous women, so it's just like China. It's yeah, nostalgic yeah, yeah, yeah. to watch her fall this way. But if she's fucking, I gotta I gotta watch it. I like watching that shit too. Why do people like seeing famous uh, people uh, uh, naked? I wonder why that is. I, I think it's like it's better. It's better to be like, oh shit, look at that chick. She's she's, she's and naked. She's not supposed feel like to you know be the fucking person. on film. Like, yeah, is she's that what it so is? not supposed to be. Like, I would buy a Whoopi Goldberg porn. <laughs> <laughs> yes, just to see Whoopi's oh! ass bent up in the air. Like, it's just like I'm not supposed to be watching Whoopi take it in. The is that what it is? It's, it's like just, you're not supposed to. It's... She's so not. Yeah, yeah. Who wouldn't buy that? Bette Midler. Who <laughs> would buy that? <laughs> Bette Midler. I would jerk off to Bette Midler. <laughs> just fucking ride. Just the cock. ride a dick. <laughs> And making a fuck face sweating. Uh, 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 yeah, oh, Jesus. What's going on there? Look at now. You see That's this young Whoopi. Yeah, young Whoopi, but now looks Whoopi. Looks like a trend. Yeah, now Whoopi. Whoopi right looks like back. a trend. Whoopi. Like fucking just watching like China's big head. And you'd have to peel off Whoopi's like those fucking pee pants that she has to wear in the commercials. And she's making sounds like, <laughs> yeah. like that big ah. sick man voice. Ah. I'm t- I, I, that China shit turned ah. me on because she's so... Really? Yeah, that <laughs> giant reconstructed head. Imagine that fucking looking down at you. <laughs> and her body's still good because she, she, stopped, she, she, she stopped doing the weights. Yeah, so she's not all manly she, it's muscles. It's not a novelty she's body. softened up right. a little bit. Yeah, man. She, yeah, she looks like she got her body in shape for that uh, porn. So China is another success story. Uh, ODing on sleeping pills, hospitalized. 
Then we move on to Mary uh, Carey. We've had her on the show. Mary we, Carey. We like her, too. She relapsed, went right back to porn. When she said she wasn't going to do the porn anymore, she was trying to get out of that. I remember this. Yeah. And she her her passion was dancing or something. Yes, yeah, she wanted to. A ballerina. <laughs> Every a ballerina. time I try to get out, they put it back <laughs> yeah. in. She danced right <laughs> back on a pair of nuts. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she pirouetted right into uh, some balls, yeah. right in the fucking <laughs> top of her eyeballs. And the thanks Dr. Drew got uh, when she went back into porn, she made fun of Dr. Drew and the whole celebrity. Yeah, she did a parody that. with <laughs> yeah. uh, Dr. Drew kind of character and she would fucking him and I, I would be embarrassed if I was Dr. Drew. I don't, yeah. I, I don't need fame that <laughs> and much. And why isn't anybody challenging in this moment? Like Dr. We're the Oz, only ones. Dr. Oz, great, the, the great Dr. Oz. I don't watch his show, but I know he goes, try Glingaberries. <laughs> They'll clean out your fucking colon. That's a great doctor show. <laughs> right. right. But this fucking guy is Nothing. he's relapsed Look, fucking, um, uh, what's my boy again uh, that, that fucked the prostitute that was his girlfriend? Uh, what? The guy, the the main guy. I mean, he is a he is really the English good. guy. No, nah, my boy, oh. my, my boy, uh, from the movie The Relic, Tommy Sizemore. Tom Sizemore, like, oh, Sizemore, yeah. Sizemore, like Sizemore. He didn't help him at all. Nah, like he he didn't help. What's the what's the the prostitute that's collecting birds now? Um, <laughs> Heidi, Fleiss. Heidi, Fleiss. Oh, Heidi, Fleiss. Heidi Fleiss. He Fleiss. didn't help her at all. No. That's what I'm getting at here. But why won't, then, why won't anybody fucking muscle this guy to to say, dude, you're not enough for? And ready. by the way, how great was Sizemore on like fucking Saving Private Ryan? Sizemore and shit? is tremendous. Yeah, yeah. You guys see him on Celebrity Rehab, man. Eh? <laughs> I know, I know. I, you I, can't I, believe I it's the same him. guy. I know, I know. You can't believe it's the oh, same fucking guy. Play, shit. Playing yeah. the sergeant guy, that fucking character he At plays. At least Mickey Rourke. That's great. And this is the thing you got to respect. At least, like, look, I want to lose weight. But there's no fucking way you're going to catch me on fucking fat people show. <laughs> yeah. I don't give a fuck. Right. I know how to lose weight. Yeah. I don't need this fucking guy yelling at me, this Lou Gossett right. guy. Oh, fat telling club. me I'm Celebrity fucking fat club. Fat. Lou Gossett. And, 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 and Tommy Sizemore, here's the thing that, that the great Mickey Rourke did. Mm. He just imploded on his own. Yeah. He fucking was in alleyways, getting his face chopped up. Yeah, yeah. Having that horrendous <laughs> back alley fucking that pl plastic terrible surgery. Terrible body where it's like in shape, but it's kind of he's fat, but he has somehow he has six a, a six pack. That's fifties in shape. I mean, he's amazing. Like that's Ben. He did ben it himself. Shape. He fucking <laughs> John Wayne all shape. Own, yeah, man. John John Wayne in shape. John Wayne. Where John in Wayne shape. would take his shirt off and the ladies would swoon. Not even a day. hint of a muscle, uh, but the women would. But swoon. they didn't work out. Remember family guy. You ever see Family Guy when he goes? Uh, he goes now coming on now the nineteen fifties in shape, out of shape guy. That's our bitch. I know. James, what, uh, what is it? Uh, How long ago do they do that? Who played the original Max Cady? Uh, Whitmore. Oh shit, Whitmore? James. James. Ah, oh, I forgot. Yeah, well, he was in the. He was in the old one, but he was the original Jan Robert Max Robert Mitchum. Mitchum. Robert Mitchum. Robert Mitchum. He goes. They go. And now we return to Robert Mitchum in 1950s in shape, out of shape guy. <laughs> <laughs> when did you see that? Family uh, Guy, man. Yeah. No, we did the bit. Oh yeah. Uh, we, it, I, might, it might be I, a 2005. Wow, maybe yeah, maybe we right indirectly here. ripped them off. I, it's, uh, I thought that was one of our original bits. I From think the fifties. Gambling yeah, is back, illegal back, in this town. Go back, go back. Mr. Mr. Mitchum in out of shape in turn to Robert Mitchum in out of shape in shape guy from the fifties. <laughs> Gambling is illegal in this town. <laughs> Says who? Says me. You got a problem with that? <laughs> um, not really sure. I'm waiting for you to exhale. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I do have a problem with that. Holy shit. His pants are up to his nipples. In shit. They have that barrel body and shit. That weird. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> in shape, out of shape guy from the 50s. Fucking Heston had that. Fucking John Wayne John had Wayne it. John Wayne was a classic. Like Charlton Heston, when he would take his shirt off and like even Planet of the Apes and shit like that, you could tell he was <laughs> sucking it in and shit. Yeah. It was so hilarious. It was a weird... Yeah. It was a... It's because guys didn't work at like like big stars. They weren't in the gym working out. Like, like I remember when John Wayne... Remember when, remember when Lucy was trying to get John Wayne's footprints in the cement and shit? Sure, yeah. And I love Lucy. And, and the big thing he did in his trailer when he was filming was... 
All right, Bob, come in here and give me a rub down. <laughs> and he's laying on the table, and some burly guy gives him a rub down. He wasn't fucking lifting weights or nothing like that back then. So who was the first truly in shape, dude? Yeah, who was the first like Arnold Schwarzenegger? Schwarzenegger? Was but it that's what? above in shape. That is because he was before but... acting. He was already in shape. Who the fuck? What actor decided? Look, I'm getting real fucking muscles. Before I get on the, the, in front of the camera, you have to get to Paul the, Newman. I would go early seventies. Newman Gotta had the same there. body. Newman was the same thing. Yeah, man, and and, and, and Steve McQueen. Now. McQueen. McQueen oh, is. Uh, they had the same oh, figure. God, he was a Robert Mitchum. Burt his his six pack was a rib. Burt Reynolds. Burt Reynolds. Burt Reynolds. No, he I had the you. same body. Yul Brenner. <laughs> they all <laughs> had the same yeah, body. Wait, 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 whoa! Yul Brenner <laughs> from. Moses. Yes. It wasn't. Moses. Go, go to. Go, go to Yul Brenner as Yul Pharaoh. Brenner and Pharaoh. Yul and, Brenner Pharaoh. See what the fuck he looked like. Yeah, because he. Ten Commandments. Because he. Yeah, he might have had it. He might have had it going. Wait a minute. That's the same body. <laughs> Wait a minute, no. That's, 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 the same that's body. not the same body. No, that's from the King and I. Go to. Go to oh it's the same play, body. His Look, shirt is completely removed. That's, right? a, that's a belly, man. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute! <laughs> no, see, come on, man. He's you sucking. His, he's sucking his belly. When you see that much, when you see That's that much the of the ribs, body. they're sucking in the fucking belly. Holy Are shit. you sure? <laughs> yes. That's the same body. That's Robert Mitchum. Are you fucking sure? Look all right, at, all right, all right. Come look, on, look at look. The... now. There he is, and he's as Pharaoh. That's Ten Commandments. All right, the guy. The guy was in shape there. Yeah. That's as in shape as you were going to fucking get back then. Which yeah. isn't phenomenally, like, it's yeah. more like he's athletically fit. Right, more right. Than he is. Clyde in Ohio. What about Chuck Connors? <laughs> the Rifleman? Chuck Man? Connors is the same Check out shit. Chuck Connors from The Rifleman. How about Paul Kersey? <laughs> even, even like Bobby Weissmiller, even the dudes. Oh, Johnny Weissmiller. Oh, the, the, the Tarzan guy, guys were the worst. Those guys were <laughs> They were the worst. Fucking Fla the, uh, Flash yeah, Gordon. Yeah. Flash think... Gordon, fucking Superman from the TV show. Uh, were, George Reed. George Reed. They were awful. They were all awful. Look at that. In shave, out of shave, motherfucker. Uh, Johnny Weissmuller, man. The Dude. Tarzan guys are the worst. Maybe, maybe um, Who was the fitness regimen <laughs> wasn't out then. It wasn't. It was like calisthenics. They do like Jack LaLanne. Maybe Christopher Reeve from the first Superman. Maybe that was the first. Is it guy. that fucking far? <laughs> <laughs> he's got the start. He's got the start of bitch tits. That's because everything he ate was fattening. Everything, even apples, were fattening yeah, back then for some reason. There wasn't a health no, regimen. No. I don't think. No, no, man. They were all smoking. They were all drinking. They were all eating like shit. Dude, who was the first motherfucker? Milk poured like jello. Are you kidding me? You no, have to go to the 70s? Christopher Reeve. Before you Superman, get... Superman, 1970. Dude, you got to go to the 70s before That's you get I a, a really I in said, shape I said star? early 70s, I'm, I'm Come guessing. Come on. Smokey and the Bandit, shut up. What about... <laughs> Charles Brunson. Charles Brunson. Charles Brunson had that same body, too. Oh, that awful. Yeah, that same life. fucking. Even I, the great I escape that he body, had that. But it was an awful. <laughs> it was just the fucking in shape body shape. Christopher guy. Reeve could be the guy wow. that started it. The first dude. He could. What year? 70, 78. 78. Yeah. I'm, re I'm reading this. I don't see shit. All right, at least we got. You can't put Bruce Lee in we that. We got Christopher category. Reeve in 78. Wait a minute, though. Why Bruce not, though? Lee? Why not? Ah, Why can't you? Because before the movies, he was already a badass. He was some. He was definitely. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. so was it Johnny Weissmiller. Johnny Weissmiller was a. But he was. I don't know. It's, uh, they got him late in his career. <laughs> who got. Like. I, I, I see what you're saying. I'm trying to get you. Can't the, say what about Tully Savalas? <laughs> Telly Savalas, <laughs> Lee Majors, they all had that same fucking body. I dude. think Christopher Reeve might be the that's first. Hilarious. That's hilarious. At least first legitimately right. in shape person. That's, a, that's at least a movies. starting point, so now we got to move backwards from 78. Well, who would it there, be? There's Telly Savalas. Look at Telly Faye Look, Savalas. So his dumb publicist thought it was a good idea to get him on the cover, cover of People, People magazine with no without shirt. a shirt they on. They were unhealthy. Yul Brynner's last thing in life was don't just don't smoke. I was, they hey, smoked, whoa. they ate pork sandwiches. Was hey, hey, Rocky? hey, hey, yeah, Sylvester was Stallone, Rocky we're not thinking Stallone. So now we're moving no, no, backwards. No, 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 time out. Was that before? That was after Superman. It was? Or no. No. Oh, Wait was, a minute. Yeah. Rocky, I'm going to tell you, I tell, I'm watching these movies. He didn't get in shape till three. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Rocky.
Rocky's body right. and wanted Let's to. Let's take a look at one. Let's go to the videotape. Oh, you're uh, kind of right. Uh, oh, wait a he, was a, he was a fat man. He had some arms on him. Yeah, he but Apollo Creed was ripped. But Creed was Creed ripped. Creed was ripped, but do we count... Fucking call Black weathers. guys? Call weathers. Oh, what? Was <laughs> you fucking asshole. <laughs> what a dick. <laughs> uh, look at him in Rocky 1. Borderline chubby. What about Sidney Poitier if we're going to uh, go black guys? They never let Sidney Poitier take, take off his shirt off. No. no. Carl Weathers was the first half nude black man we ever seen. <laughs> you know why with Sidney? Sidney Poitier. He had a third nipple. <clears throat> Did he? Did he mm -hmm. really? Yeah. I think you're lying. What? Go to, go to <laughs> regular Rocky. Just regular Rocky Damn. body. That's Rocky. That's not Rocky. one. That's almost two because his body's starting to build yeah, up. Yeah, that could be the one. rematch or Where, something. Topless uh, pictures. Yeah. Rocky. Yeah, put in topless Rocky yeah, pictures, please. Yeah, that's, uh, Just put in topless. Is that the original right there? Rocky Middle one of the topless. screen? Yeah, well. Uh, he's ripped in he's that. That was a little, that's a little later. That was, yeah, because he had the heavy sweatsuit on. So you yeah, might yeah, you, yeah. I think you're onto something. You're onto there. something. But yeah, he was not. If he had Damn. a good. If he, Thought his body was in shape, he would have filmed those scenes with something a little. Dude, a lot of people stop saying I mean, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Wild. We discussed that he was a bodybuilder <laughs> that they found and said, "Let's put this yeah. animal in a movie." He was like bodybuilding to movie, not yeah, in yeah. shape guy. Actor. They gave him the parts because he was so muscle bound. You know what? We can't go much further back from Damn, seventy-eight dude. and uh, Christopher, Christopher Reeve. Uh, Christopher can't Reeve go... is the first in shape guy in the movies. No, and St Stallone wasn't a bodybuilder. And fucking mm -hmm. and Stallone Don't also argue with me. Also, he didn't get in shape. <laughs> on he was an in shape yes, guy. Yeah. After Rocky three, he he also did other movies. He did the fucking Outsiders or whatever the fuck he did. Or who? Uh, uh, Stallone. He Stallone, was in. Uh, yeah, Stallone yeah, was. He was in Death Race two thousand with. Um, he was with in. Fucking, he was in uh, movies before Rocky. Also. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, John in Greensboro just writes, this is so gay. It is super gay. I was thinking about it. Right. But still, Joe for Turbo. What are you going to do? But you, you see these in-shape, out-of-shape guys, and you it's laugh. It's funny, though, man. It is funny. What about Clint Eastwood? Nah, I think he I was think also. He never was, a, he never was that dude. He was dude. a skinny guy at Matter one fact, point. Can we be fair? Is any? Uh, other than Schwarzenegger, even now. Who's in shape? You look at someone like Christian Bale when he was fucking Batman. Fair he enough. fucking worked like a motherfucker. Let's not, not all rip. Let's not forget about yeah. Brad Pitt. Don Brad Anthony. Pitt. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. That guy worked out like a motherfucker. I mean, not to be gay. I hey, know. I'm not. I'm not being gay here. I'm strictly saying, yeah. as as a guy that fucking works out, like yeah. how do you fucking. Yeah, that's a, that, that is Christian Bell. That certainly is a uh, that guy can work out and get results. <laughs> that is that certainly isn't Robert Mitchum. And then he did that fucking role, the machinist. And then he comes back and does Batman. That's but a, I, but you know a, what? I give amazing. no one credit who that does shit. that. Yeah, because except for De Niro. Yeah, I refuse to give credit to anybody when who does. That gains or loses I'm weight. I'm gonna fucking throw up and not eat. Thing. I, it's much harder to do what he did and go down to that way for machinist. I don't oh, get machinist. It's terrible. I, I read somewhere De Niro he was as, eating like one apple a day or something. Just oh, insane fuck shit. That. De Niro Jesus. as who, he did it twice. Who, but who can't Max eat Katie? Who can eat pasta every day yeah. to gain the weight? To ga he true. gained it and he lost it. Yeah, but he it. did lose it. And he got fucking pretty ripped after that. For for, for a, Max Cady yeah, for fucking yeah, Cape yep. Fear. Yeah, yeah, Cape Fear. He had a he's the king, six pack. He, he's the king that of that movie, shit. Right? Hey, let's get back to the success story oh, as shit. we move through this. Look at us. We fucking took a left turn. That's all good, man. Oh, uh, yeah. Jason Davis. Who's Jason Davis again? He he's was on season four. Social idol. <laughs> he was Social. the guy that Dr. Drew basically said, you will die soon if you do not get sober. Wow. Well, he relapsed and arrested uh, on possession. Who is he? Since the show ended. He's a, so, a socialite. He, he used to hang with uh, what Paris Hilton and yeah. all that, that crew. What's he look? What, he looks. He's famous for just being in Hollywood. He and looks being like Rockets Red Glare. Yeah, Ronnie King. We said uh, Tony Catan or Catan. Oh. Season two, relapsed DUI. Tony Catan. Who's that? Catan. She was, she in, was uh, uh, with White David Snake, Coverdale. White yeah. Snake video. Going out with David Cover Coverdale. Rolling around on the hood of that car. Okay. Uh, Mindy McCready, season three, big country uh, country Ooh. star there, right? Yes. Relapse, hospitalized <laughs> after drug overdose, put out a sex tape. These are all Dr. Drew's success stories. <laughs> who, gets the, who gets to fucking confront this guy? 
We're the only ones. I swear to God, I, I'm I'm surprised no one else is jumping on this because this is kind of this is kind of like the dead wrestler thing we yep. do. This is like very suspicious. He's not helping anyone. But what about like if this guy was a real doctor? Yeah, he'd be fucked. <laughs> you you look at his resume, right? And you go, this guy died. This guy got. What yeah. are you doing? Right. If you were like a surgeon and, and lost this many people, <laughs> yeah. And then you got. Uh, in the last year, Jeff Conway and Mike Starr from Alice in Chains, both dead. Maybe. And they, were, they also wow. graduated from uh, these shows. That's a great Maybe graduation. it's like a bus driver. He, he takes you on a ride mm -hmm. that he's supposed to take you on. Oh, you get off. You get off. Like, he kept you. Like, he doesn't, he's not responsible for you after you leave. But you think it would be bad for business when the fame goes away. Mm. Like, what are you doing? So, which means I think he cares more about being famous than his practice. And Mike Starr, just to add, they brought, he was such a real success story for Dr. Drew, they brought him back to show the other uh, losers, look, you can change your life. Here's Mike Starr. And they're all like, oh my God, Mike, you look great, blah, blah, blah. And I think six to eight months later, he's dead. <sighs> Did y'all talk about that asshole who got caught cheating on his wife? Y'all uh, had to talk about it. Which one? one? I, I There's just, been I'm, so I'm, many. I'm, I'm I'm a day late in the dollar show. I know, but um, fucking catch a predator. Oh, uh, right, 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 right. You yeah. discussed that, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Chris okay. Hansen. All right, good enough. Chris, just, Chris Hansen. That right. motherfucker. Can you believe they, him? They set I him up pretty good. <laughs> God bless him. I have a yeah. We we did the whole break, but I had a problem with him because he went past that catch a predator shit, which I thought was a great show. I really thought it was getting some shit done. And then he went into like just harassing bike owners and 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 like just street guys that are trying yeah, to fucking yeah. make a little little living here and there. Yeah. Who gives a shit type of? Because he couldn't do the predator thing anymore right, because so, some guy fucking hung himself or some shit. And uh, they were like, eh, eh, "We're liable, you know, networks. So we're gonna get sued." He was a pedophile. Hung I, himself. I saw one recently. Uh, I'll be quick. He uh, <laughs> he's going after bike owners because what happens is you know you got the street thieves that taking your bike and they go to a bike shop. And go, hey man, what could you give me for this bike? And a bunch of guys are saying, well, I'll give you a couple hundred bucks, whatever. Yeah. He that's went to this what, one. He, he he got relegated to. He went to this. Yeah, he went to this one bike owner. With a fake stolen bike, and the bike owner, I'm telling you, you said bike shop owner, like uh, a bike, bike shop owner. Okay. I'm sorry, bike shop owner told Chris Hansen, I don't even know how many times. No, no, I'm not that guy. I don't want to do this. No, thank you. You got to go somewhere else. Do you know of anyone else? No, no, no. Doesn't want to be involved with this fucking thing. And Chris Hansen, the crew, just broke him down and kept boom, 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 <laughs> boom, boom, to the point where the guy almost was like, All right, I'll fucking take your bike. And then as soon as the guy said that, boom, here comes Chris Hansen and every, and big burly security guards. And they're beating the shit out of this guy, you know, mentally, basically, for being yeah. a bad guy. It was complete entrapment. Hansen kept at him until he finally said, all right, I'll take your bike. And there's no one talking about that. Like, how did, what, what yeah. constitutes, like, you would think the hypocrisy would get this motherfucker. And he's, no one's talking about it. It's just a non-issue. <clears throat> like, who makes those decisions on what the fuck the, is like, like Kaylee Tiger and shit like that got fucking crucified. There was a time I I, I think an, a mother who drowns in succession of age, all her kids in <laughs> yeah, the bathtub yeah, yeah. is that's warrant like Kaylee the the yeah yeah like that K case Casey I mean not that it shouldn't be a case, but it 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 permeated throughout everything. Yeah, and yes. this fucking woman. Who fucking drowns all her kids? And is not the biggest news since OJ? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just drowns them in order of their age? Uh, Wait, are you talking about the one? Oh. In Texas. Or the, well, the, the many white women that fucking kill their well, kids. Yeah, yeah. Well, no. White women love killing their children. I, they really do. We had one close to New York, right? Wasn't it a black woman? And she let the one go? Why wasn't that all over TV? I want to know That's why. That's way more fucking what tragic. Did, what did this girl, I think it's her attitude where, <clears throat> you know, like, again, they were so upset that this girl <coughs> didn't act up, upset the way she was supposed to act upset. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like she's supposed to be this apologetically crazy, contrite, like, sadness yeah. and overwhelmed. She just sat there. Look, man, it's simple. She was, she is young, white and hot 
And that's why and they went everyone, on a, everyone went with it. And that ugly Nancy Grace. If that, I, oh, oh, we got the Nancy God, Grace. God, we hate the Nancy Grace. We got the Nancy Grace. She her, And she's ugly with, um, you know what she's, her ugliness to me is? Yeah. It's, a, it's, it's an inner it, ugly? It's an inner that yeah. comes right on her face. <laughs> now, did you see The Devil's Advocate? Yeah, of course. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, but yeah. You, you remember when, oh. when, when um, Charlize Theron kept... Seeing the faces, seeing the faces. Change. when that, they went shopping the first Nancy, time, and they're drinking the the champagne, and they're trying on clothes, and then they were like, Bruh. "It was like, hey, wait!" She just got a glimpse of their their inner evil. <laughs> Nancy's aura is that to me. Yeah, yeah. Like, she got a nasty aura, dude. Something, I can't there's something nasty her. about that woman. Dude. You know, uh, just because we got a guest here and it's getting crazy, so I want to rush through this a little bit. We got two Nancy Grace clips. I want to play. Yeah, yeah, please. She's getting a lot of shit because of the coverage she had on HLN. She right? was trying to get tot mom she to explains catch on. why she talked oh, uh really? named uh casey anthony tot mom tot mom because she was trying to make and, it her own and, fucking cunt and i've been uh i've been battling some people on twitter because i said that nancy grace loves the fact that she was found innocent it's yeah. great for her business it's great for nancy <laughs> grace that this broad was found innocent so, yep. she, so she could keep going yes yeah. Rush Limbaugh loves the fact Obama's president, and I bet you would love to see him get another term because it's great for Rush's business. Yeah, and and you write this shit on Twitter, and people think you're a, a Luna fucking tick. <laughs> Luna fucking tick. <laughs> but this is the truth. Nancy Grace wants this shit to happen. Yeah. Nancy Grace wants another uh, young uh, white child to, to go missing. Yep, she absolutely wants that. That uh, her well, show, her, got, business. Her, yes! show, her show <laughs> beat O'Reilly's show one night, and that never happens in cable on HLN fucking headline news, right? Where that's like the CNN dumping grounds, and they actually beat fucking the number one right. cable talk show because of that trial. Because then she knew it. Nancy Grace isn't attached to these stories, so she wants this shit yes. to happen. Because then like, it's good she, for her she's fucking like TV show. Party and young broad, yep. fucking. <clears throat> smothers a kid and yeah, we'll take that one. Right. Because you know she yeah. gets some. Look, man, I walk in, in rest stops when you're driving from gigs. Yeah. They, they have on the. It's like the post office now of missing kids, man, at these oh, rest yeah, stop yeah, things. Yeah. There's so many missing children. Yeah. Uh, that you, she has to actually go, uh, ooh, this one. Yeah, yeah that's a good She's one. Gonna <laughs> that's a good one. Ooh, that one. Let me grab that. That's it really going to be a matter of I care because it should be thing. 30 segments of. This child's missing. See if you can find her. This child's missing. See if you can find her. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, here uh, she went on O'Reilly. She went on O'Reilly. Isn't that the competition? Ant? But I guess O'Reilly. It's good for O'Reilly's business to have Nancy Grace on. See how this shit works? Yeah, yeah. They they all just fucking are right. whores to incestuous to each other. Yeah. I know I'm right on this one. So stop yelling at me on Twitter. It's good for her business that Casey Anthony was found innocent. Yep. She'll never admit that to you. Yeah. But it, it's a fact. With us now from Atlanta is Nancy Grace. First of all, do you think you went overboard at all in your coverage of the trial? Ah! You know, Bill, number one, thank you for having me, but overboard when there is a miscarriage of justice? No, I don't think I went overboard. And in fact, I think that term overboard is very trite. What I think went wrong is not me commenting or covering what happened in the courtroom, but what went wrong is the jury verdict. Now, listen, what? I respect our justice system. I have dedicated my life to our justice system since my fiance was murdered back in 1979, sometimes working three and four jobs at a time so I could seek justice in the courtroom as a prosecutor. What is overboard is the jury verdict. Okay. Ugh. So she's saying, fuck, this was killing me. Yeah. She's saying, fuck the system. Fuck the system. The system's wrong because system I broke. say it, it was wrong. The system, but the that. system is did absolutely job. did what it was supposed to do. The prosecution did not fucking <clears throat> prove Beyond a reasonable doubt that she did anything. That's I don't just, understand. They didn't do it. I don't Sorry. like unreasonable. Pe mm. un unreasonable bothers me a lot, man. Like yeah. that. It's like, wait a minute. I know if something happens to my mother and then some of her gets away, you know, you're just you're, you're just fucking soaked with with anger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Resentment. You're going to be unreasonable, I think. Y yeah, but, but when then, it's personal, as something you go. Well, it is the justice. It's the system. And you know how many fucking innocent people are in jail? Mm. When a system doesn't work either way. Now, now, Kate, now here's the thing. Here's the thing that you can't argue. 
the, so I think one of the jurors said, I don't think she, I think she did the shit. Mm-hmm. But our, our whole thing from when we was watching Beretta, when yeah. we was kid, 12 is, Angry Men, is reasonable doubt. Reasonable mm-hmm. doubt. If you got one little thing that can say, I didn't do it, mm-hmm. then I didn't do it. L- a little I didn't do it beats a whole lot of, I think you did 90%. Yep. I did it. Loses to ten percent. Ten percent, maybe. Maybe you didn't. didn't do it. That's maybe our system. She didn't. That's right. she. She went through the system. And that's what happened. They couldn't. The prosecution couldn't even come up with a real mode of 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 fucking mm-hmm. murder. They they don't even know how the kid died. She gets to fucking shape the thought process of America. Mm-hmm. Okay, and this yeah. unreasonable woman. She's a fucking unreasonable woman. Right. Yeah, and you know she 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 gets to shape right. how you think when she's telling you right. the jury fucked up. How is she saying that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Then you have there's the hypocrisy of it. Go to every jury that might have fucked up in something, but it, it concerns you and your crusade. Mm-hmm. But I like to ask Nancy Grace, would you trade in your entire career to find every kid that's ever been missing? Uh huh. Would you do that? Would mm-hmm. you get up? Oh, she would no, be because like... that wouldn't help. No, no, no. <laughs> no, it would help. It would. She'd you be a liar and say yes. Everybody I would. I would. She'd be like, yes, of course I would. And meanwhile, she wouldn't. Here's uh, Nancy Grayson O'Reilly talking about the top mom and the naming of the top mom. You have to admit that the way you presented the material throughout the trial was flamboyant. You nicknamed Casey Anthony Tot Mom. What does Tot Mom mean anyway? What is that? Well, you know what? Uh, To you, I will finally reveal where Tot Mom came from. When I was in law school, I would often give cases that I had to memorize hundreds and hundreds, sometimes thousands of pages of legal documents for class. And it was easier for me to remember a case by the content of the case, not the name Smith versus O'Shaughnessy. So I would name each case by the content. In this case, I needed content that would fit at the bottom of the screen so our viewer would know what All we were right, talking so was about. Just a, okay. And taught mom fit. But it did sound yeah, like a denigration. Not- you're, you're lying. Horseshit. Everyone loves a good catchphrase. Just say it. And it pops. Because she could have had anything written at the bottom of her screen. If so it wasn't people associated knew. with murdering a child, that's that could be the top selling t shirt since the smiley face. <laughs> of course. Top mom is huge. She's fucking lying. It almost is up there with Coca Cola in terms of how fucking <laughs> right. smooth it sounds. Right. Top mom. Well, all these great products have a nice, you know, catchphrase. Fucking it. But like, she I mean she, to, she's in a catchphrase business. Yeah, to put but but why are we always trying to Prove the hypocrisy of a bitch like Nancy Grace. When it, we just know what she is. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I, don't people I, I would know? like. I would love to think that um, a lot of people know. And you just you just hang on Twitter enough to know there's a lot of dummies out there that don't know this shit. Don't even care. Uh, no, they 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 see it how they s- see it on TV without breaking it down. Top bomb. Hot mom. Well, Bill. That's good for ratings. Well, Bill. Why don't you tell Bill O'Reilly, you know, coming up with a catchphrase like Tot Mom is good for my show and good for ratings. And if I have if I have really good ratings, I make more money. That's the real answer. When I thought see when I was in law school, Bill, here here is the background the prophetic reason why I said Tot Mom. Right. You know, I could have just said Kaylee. <laughs> yeah. Kel, young Kel, but I just said top mom just goes well. She could have had Kaylee at the bottom of her screen. She should said it, it, it roll well. I just thought, damn, it, that's a catchy <laughs> phrase. It's not a bad catchphrase. Top mom, top mom's the shit. Nancy, own it. Be proud of it. Yeah, you came up with a good catchphrase. Mom. If it wasn't for the fact that she is being vilified uh, to the point of OJ somehow, mm-hmm. she, that is a great T-shirt. Yeah. Oh, they'll 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 be wearing it. Oh, you think so? Oh yeah. Oh, so much oh yeah. Of course I don't think they nobody's will. wearing <laughs> fucking. That's like wearing a. It's not going to be like a a winning o- winning t shirt, but free OJ. You didn't see a whole bunch of those. But well, you saw a few. <laughs> you saw a few that black, stepped out with that shirt. People, but who's going to wear? <laughs> what demographic is wearing fucking? You know, top mom, middle aged guys. Middle. There'll be a few middle aged guys. Maybe so. That will. Absolutely, have a Todd Mom shirt at a at a Leonard Skinner to the mugging concert somewhere. 
<laughs> you know what? Hey, you, you, you got see a few. Bill, I just think that, you know, whenever I stand, I think of my two little children. Oh, Winsy and Lindsay and Swinsy, Swinsy and Twinsy, <laughs> Mary and Schmary. I just love the, uh, yeah. oh, God. Yeah. And then people call in and go, oh, the same voice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Man, I just love what you do. And are the twins sick this week? Yeah, they had a cold. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> That fucking show makes me fucking sick. Well, here's the rest of the clip on Top Mom. Screen so our viewer would know what All we were right, talking so it was about. Just a, it was, okay. And Top Mom fit. But it did sound yeah, like a it's denigration. It's nothing personal. No, but it did no, sound it like a denigration. it does not sound like a denigration. No, sure it did. No, it Top doesn't. Mom is well, like I don't a, think it did. It was like that. Okay. I, look, would it be better to be cold-blooded killer? Would that be better? I think, it's I Top think Mom. It has a ring to about it. Casey Anthony. That's what we what said. Yeah. Tot yeah. mom. She could put that at the bottom of the screen. Tot mom. Every th and every time she referenced her, it was tot mom. Right. So it's like she tried to make it her own with a catchphrase. With a catchphrase. And, and, a, and a bit of a dig. That's fucking a dig there, bullshit. Which, oh. which is fine. What I'm saying is it's fine, but don't bullshit us. She's bullshitting herself. My twin. You think she's, she's bullshitting so, herself? She's and so who gone. Who fuck Nancy Grayson came in her? Uh, uh, give me, show me Nancy's husband in this Jesus. bitch. Jesus. Uh, oh, fuck, kiss that. Look at her uh, straight. Because you come in a woman, you got to look her straight in the eye. Who looked her straight in the eye? That fucking, when someone said she's got that David Bowie from Labyrinth hairdo. Oh, that's him? <laughs> did you, oh, did you uh, see the other one? It was kind of hack, but <laughs> I retweeted it. It made me chuckle. The uh, oh, Nancy the Grace uh, shit, shit face. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Did you see that? Yeah. It was? 25 pictures of Nancy Grace looking like she's taking a crap. Taking a dump. Oh, my Lord. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Holy fuckity fuck. <laughs> Holy fuckity fuck. <laughs> Look at that family. Fuck, 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 Look, she's tot fuck, mom fuck, right fuck, there. Fuck, fuck. You know what? She's I a mom. Have to she got a tot. I have to fuck, apologize fuck, to Nancy fuck. Grace. She could do better. Wow. You're, you, I think you're I crazy. I think she could do. You don't, you the think second that, she opens that fucking mouth of hers. You think that this fucking limo driver looking motherfucker, <laughs> that's the best Nancy could do? Where's, her, where's Nancy's body? Where's oh, her, God. Where's her, where's her body? What the hell's wrong with you? Let me see her body. Uh, is that her wedding photo? Is that her tits hanging low? Right. Oh, All right, she yeah, got some big soggy low. tits. Ugh. Wait, go back to a different Jesus picture. Oh, Let me Jesus. figure this out. Let me figure this out. You know out. the smell's just off, too, uh, on every No, nah, she's rich, man. man. She you got good pussy products. You know man. she's got some weird good smell. Good pussy product from You think she toe. stinks? Oh, God, yeah. Vinegary. There's no oh, vinegary. The, the body? Like tangy. Well, is you she, know the vinegar that tangy? you leave out a little too long? Yeah, yeah. You gotta warm it up a bit, maybe Ugh. leave it in the sun. <laughs> Jesus <Ugh>. Christ. <laughs> you think she's warm vinegar? <laughs> Would you do Nancy Grace? No. No. Well let's not even, a minute. Not even as <laughs> let's play not even game. as Nancy Grace. Like like, oh she's famous, let me fuck her. Kind of thing. No, I, I would. I would like to see her cooch up in the air. Yeah, just to let us take a look. Uh, you wouldn't. Uh, no. Think she shaves? I don't think so. Uh, I think it's she's just old some, school. I think she's got some. You think uh, she's old school? Bush? Yeah. I think yeah. she's got some wild ones down there. She got a wild hair up her ass. Some I bet you ones. she's a piece of garbage in bed. I bet you. You think she's like filthy? Oh, just and she controls her husband. She ties him up. Oh man. She she's a femdom. I bet you she steps on his balls. With that horrible yellow tie he was wearing in that fucking last picture. Oh, uh, <laughs> she just sits on his face and smothers him. Uh, she smothers him. Cuckle. A cuckle. <laughs> 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 fuck me like the jury just fucked up this case. Oh, <laughs> I want 12 of your friends to fuck me. Yeah. I want to feel that it's like to oh, be fucked by sure number seven. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we just gave a porn fucking, some porn company. Uh, they just stole idea. it. You know they They're stole like, it. That's great. Let's work on it. At least give us a bottle of wine. That's a great. Fuck it. Fucking Gawker never gave us a bottle of wine for uh, the wiener thing. Uh, that's all I him. wanted. Bastards. So there's your celebrity rehab. And, and then a guy's yelling at me. He's like, you don't know anything about addiction. I wasn't even saying I knew anything about addiction. What? The whole point on the celebrity rehab thing is there's a lot of a lot of fucking duds on this list that, that Dr. Drew didn't help. That's all I was saying. What the fuck is that about? I don't know anything about addiction and trying to get That's sober. That's an unreasonable my statement. Po my point really? is that why would Dr. Drew continue with a show like this when it's making him look kind of bad? He's under the microscope minute, but with this what, show. Okay, so maybe the addiction guy can explain why you're wrong. I know about who what you're it was. Saying. So yeah. call the show. 
You know, I mean, what does that even mean? Writing like, a quick and some feedback sometimes sucks. If you wanna, if you wanna uh, challenge us, then call the show. So, I, so, I know which guy you were, so call and I'll see you on the phone line. So, so who? I didn't say anything about addiction. I don't know shit about that. But maybe he's maybe there's something in there where he's saying Dr. Drew is doing a good job, and he did do something. And, and addiction, maybe he's taking the responsibility off of Drew. And putting it completely on those people, Drew did what he was supposed to do. Maybe well, he's saying that. My uh, my argument to that would be that first of all, the show is set up to fail. Uh, I know for a fact that uh, they're only in this house for three weeks. Is it now, Sam? I think so. Yeah. Because Dr. Drew doesn't have fucking time to waste. So he now has, it's, he has another show. On he the has HL, other shit he HLM. wants to do. So he films this show in three fucking weeks. And I know that much about uh, trying to get sober. You need a little more time than 21 days. And I tell you what, I want the person that's trying to save my life to have a little bit more passion than, hey, man, you know, you're just a, you know, come right. on, man, stop right. it, stop. Right. All right, I got to go. And his, <laughs> like, and I, it, I, like, I watch I watch a little bit of Drew, and he's just, it's just no. And he has to wrap it up like every other TV show, so they have the graduate. I, I would love to talk to this guy. So he has the graduation ceremony, when maybe he should say, Okay, this three weeks is over. It seems like you guys are on on the right path, but you know you got a long road ahead of you. Instead of handing them a certificate like you graduate, like you are <laughs> you are cured. But you know what a certificate is and a graduation is? You are done. That's just yeah, like, yeah, like that's what I'm know, saying. Like, if hey, you go, if my you go to high school, is over. you graduate from high school. Fucking, mm -hmm. you know, you, you know, uh, Mister Mister Fucking Feeney from your high school is not responsible for the fact that you can't read no more. Yeah, I you, did what you, you did what you could mm. to get through our system, yeah. and you're out. Right. You know, you get out of jail. Hey, we'll let you out. You know what, You though? fuck up again, My, you go back. But it, it reflects badly on the school then. Yeah. Well, then you're the, you're basically saying, look, system, I'm done. It's a system. I'm done. That's, but then that high school, in, in your case, looks kind of shitty. But every system does. that. The health, Every system, he has the health, the mental, the, 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 uh, the, the mental health system mm -hmm. that's you see these bums outside it, it, it's a failed system it's supposed to fail like you said all right so, so he's maybe he's he doesn't not, mind he's not trying to maybe he doesn't people. mind that he looks like he's failing but he's not because if you look at the system it looks like I it's the same exact is. you know yeah. you would think that he would he would put himself on a higher standard that's what i'm thinking but he's not right. but you know what he Fair is enough. he's putting himself on a higher standard because it's celebrities. <laughs> it's, <laughs> he had, he's trying to cure all. He's the celebrity doctor. Right. You know? Right. Which seems pretty damn tough to begin with. My mother, my mother, um, you know, she didn't hug me. And that's why I'm like I am. Thank you, Dr. Drew. Why, why didn't she hug you? Well, I'm just being, well, she didn't hug me, actually. We weren't lovey-dovey. We, 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 me and my mother said we love you now. And it's really, you know, it's amazing. We, we, it's kind of a drum roll. <laughs> it's amazing. It, it's we do it. it, it I think she needs it now. Growing up, she was you know m women were hardcore growing up. Black women were hardcore when I was a kid. Twenty one were like was like fifty. Twenty one year old women were like like mm. now I'm f I'm forty one. I look at a twenty one year old and I'm I'm you know borderline. I saw um, a young thing in line at the supermarket. You're yeah, shaking a little bit. <laughs> You're breaking I down. Said, I said, you know, you know. <laughs> you know. My girl went to go grab some uh, crackers. Uh -huh. I was in the self-serve line, and uh, it was this little young thing, and she had on a short set, and it was it was hugging the booty perfectly. Yeah. And I and here's where I'm f I'm I'm folding, in terms of the creepy shit. <laughs> I I was thinking. Not of fucking her normally. I just was thinking of the most disgusting thing. Horrid thing you could. Like, I wonder if I could suck her asshole. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm being honest. Like, it was just, it was, it was demonic oh, in shit. terms of, it was demonic in terms of, like, holy shit, my knees were shaking. But I didn't even have, I didn't have my hair lined up. I was trying to get ready to fucking cook. You know, my beard, was, my shit wasn't trimmed up, so I'm yeah. just standing around looking like a complete bum. So I had maybe point point one liter of swag, <laughs> and and I looked at that girl like I just I just wanted to say how much. Yeah, right. Like take a take some money. I don't even want to fuck you. I just wanna <laughs> I just wanna see it. 
It was tremendous. <laughs> tremendous. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, save that thought because we got our guest in. Oh. Uh, ben Mesrick. He's a, he's a good friend of the show. This fucking guy. God, we've known him for a long time, and now he's doing Oscar. I see him all over uh, the TV today. Oscar winning films now yeah. based on his book. Yar. What was the name of the, <laughs> the name of the last what movie? The, um, Social the, Network, of course. What was the name of that last movie? Social book? Network. Ben Mesrick uh, wrote the book. Oh, it's, on, it's on cable now. Social I Network. I love Social Network. I didn't. I, I'm. That's another movie. I'm. I'm getting. Uh, I'm. I'm tr you trying gotta to work yourself up. Yeah, I'm trying it. to get to see. I'm just want to. I'm trying. I'll to be honest. Out. I haven't seen it yet. I'm I trying like, to figure I, out how. I, I, I didn't, didn't watch it. it. There's a rhythm and to how the movie. How do I watch too. it? I wanted. I think me and you we're pretty fucking close together on movies here. But there's there's a rhythm to that movie. Wanna, if if you're not up, wanna. if you're not a force, Social Network will lose you quick. You got to be up saying. to see that movie. I, I, it is fast paced. I need to know how to watch it. The main guy there is talking mm -hmm. a mile mm -hmm. a minute to start off the film, and you got to. I put the subtitles on because I got one of those. And, and, it, it, and, reminds, it, and it, it reminds me. It reminds me. It reminds me. Get through me, that opening scene. <laughs> it reminds me of uh, you know the the the, um, the little ironic the ironic Jew kid thing is starting to really. Uh, it's just the, the 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 ironic kid. Yeah. Like. Thing I don't, know. it's starting to bug me, well, and I and I see that as that kind of movie. Yeah, you know, that just the hey, I'm gonna say things that could be things, and right. but I don't, yeah, if not, I don't let's, care. Let's go to break, and we could talk yeah. about this with Ben. Uh, ben has another book out called Sex on the Moon, and I hear there's gonna be a movie too. Unbelievable, man, unfucking believable. Cleaning up, as they say. Absolutely. He, is he the new Michael Crichton? Oh, Michael he's Crichton. Been, he's been writing a while. Uh, Bringing Down the House was one of his books that was made into a movie as well. Who was, that, who was in that? Queen Latifah? Queen Latifah was in it. Queen Latifah. And, uh, Ice Cube and... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> the if, you, Cube. If, you, if you knew anything about black people, you could have ran with that. I know. But you said fucking Ice Cube. Know, fucking I Ice an Cube. Uh... Why nobody likes white people. It's just to disrespect you have for black people. You went right to Ice Cube. I don't know. Your favorite rapper actor. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Some that. other relevant... That's, I'll be honest with you. I went with the go-to guy I know of. In my head, you could have just. We all have go-to guys. Yeah. You just said my Ice Cube. You're just an that's asshole. That's the cube. I couldn't even tell you what Ice Cube has done. Really. God damn it! You could have said if you said Omar Epps, that would have got. Some oh nice yeah, okay. Respect points. Well, I'm gonna write that down for next time. <laughs> asshole. Uh, maybe we can work it into the conversation. <laughs> ben Mesrick, how yes, are you, sir? I'm good. I'm good. You've done our show uh, for many years uh, now, a sir. A lot of times for a long time. And right? when I saw. Um, the Oscars, and you got on that stage with social net, the Social Network crew. Right, I was right. like, God, I know that guy. It was, uh, it was nuts. That came out. I mean, the kind of stuff I write, you don't expect, is going to win an Oscar. It's and amazing. That, it's just Aaron Sorkin, you know, scripted it and wrote an unbelievable thing, and David Fincher directed it, and it was just amazing. Is that the first person you uh, ever knew? That was on the stage getting an Oscar. Well, I was on the stage um, for the Globes. Oscar Aaron Sorkin thanked me. Oh yeah, yeah, Oscars, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's right. Oh, okay, right. I, I, well, oh, damn it. Should have went up there. I know. But King's Speech. I mean, he's done our show yeah, enough where I, I feel like he's... Just run up, though. He's kind of a friend. He's a friend of the show. You know yeah. what I mean? Those type of guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I, I don't know. But, uh, wow. And now you got Sex on the Moon. The Sex book. on the Moon. You know who? Jimmy read the first 100 pages yeah. to get ready for this interview, but he had to go out to... I love Jimmy. Oh. L.A. to yeah. do Leno. Yeah. But he said before he left, this book is really good. Oh, that's awesome. He yeah, loved is, the first 100 pages. This is the craziest story I've been involved with. I mean, this is a kid who was at NASA. He was basically on his way to the astronaut training program, college kid, brilliant, fell in love with a girl uh, who was an intern there, and to impress her, he broke into the lab, this impregnable lab, and stole a 600-pound safe full of moon rocks from every moon landing in history, and they're the most valuable thing on Earth. Oh, you know, yeah. One gram was once sold for $5 million. Wow. And he spreads them on a bed and has sex with his girlfriend on the moon and then tries to sell them to this guy he meets on the Internet. Turns into a huge FBI sting operation, uh, 100 agents and guns and everything. And he goes to jail for seven and a half years and then calls me when he gets out. And he's like, I want to tell it because he saw my movies and my books uh -huh. in prison. They called him Moon Rock in prison. That was his nickname. And no one had ever heard the story before. I was just going to say, why didn't we hear this story? Because like, NASA didn't want anybody to know. It was very embarrassing uh, for them. Yeah, I, I And gather. there had been one article written about it. I mean, he was one of their own. He was going to be an astronaut. And wow. he just fell in love. I mean, everyone's done something stupid out of love, but that was like, 
Right. Really stupid. And Jimmy, I don't know how much of the book you want to give away, but Jimmy was telling us a little bit about these moon rocks and how valuable they are. It's and crazy. How, and how they're not, you know, they're in sealed uh, mm. containers and stuff, and they don't want the containers opened. And Yeah, because they've only been gotten once in history, you know, during the space uh, Apollo missions. Everyone went to the moon, and yeah. we got, you know, 840 pounds is all there is in existence. And 840 so, pounds of moon rocks is all it's here. And NASA has it all in these locked labs and sealed in little bags. They were each brought back by hand from the moon. Is there the fake moon landing? From the fake moon. From the fake moon. <laughs> <laughs> NASA oh, created that to, them in a say laboratory. That to Buzz Aldrin will punch you in the <laughs> face. He will. Mr. Watch fucking fake Buzz. <laughs> I've never seen Buzz in the same room with fucking. <laughs> That's right. Didn't he punch somebody? He did. Yeah, 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 some like blogger guy with a camera came in his, up in his face and said, uh, Said, uh, yeah, why don't you tell us uh, how the moon landing was faked? Yeah. He leaned over and fucking clocked him right in the face. That's awesome. It's fantastic. How do you test the old authenticity man. of a moon rock, by the well, way, sir? Well, first of all, the guys who actually brought it back, you know, <laughs> when they sealed it and it, they, it came off of the the you know, space capsule. No, if basically. I was saying I had oh, today, one. today, there actually is a way to, you, to do it. So I'm like, this is from the moon. Yeah, right? yeah. So what you do, first of all, there's a way uh, to look at it, and you can tell the difference between a moon rock that was on the moon and a moon rock that like came on an asteroid or whatever, mm. because uh, the moon doesn't have an atmosphere, so mm. it has many craters all over it, and supposedly it's not possible in a lab to fake that. But <clears throat> I'm not an expert, but the guy who he tried to sell it to was a Belgium gem dealer and who had never been out of Antwerp, Belgium in his life, and he's the one who called the FBI. He became oh. the FBI's expert on moon rocks. Oh, what a so bastard. He, tell, he, well, he, decided, <laughs> he snitched on the moon rock kid? He snitched on the moon rock kid. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. But, um, who cares? They're just a bunch of rocks. Well, you know, and the kid, right? um, so there was a way to test them to yes. see whether they were real or not, um, and it's, it's in the book. I don't remember. It's pretty, you know, there's, there's a way to tell the difference. But I will say, one of the guys... Um, who went to jail for five years for this crime. He was like the middleman. He found the guy on the Internet. Um, he, when I called him to interview him, the first thing he said to me is, you don't think we really made it to the moon, do you? So literally one of the kids who tried to sell the rocks didn't even believe they were from the moon. So, so uh, there's a lot of people who still think that way. I'm going to be very honest. Yeah. I was just like, ah, Ben Messick could kiss my ass with this stupid book. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> He's Patrice. a fellow Boston guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like white people from Boston, man. Oh, no. <laughs> I, think, I, despi I despise these new Boston movies, by the way, where they're fucking pulling their bootstraps up. And Boston's the place to film these. Oh, but I wanted to yeah. say that this five minutes... <laughs> it's, this fascinating, is interesting, right? I love this. this. Yeah, is yeah, fucking yeah. fascinating. Yeah. Oh, I, I apologize for where my mind was. No, I, I they like gave that. me I've... the fucking sh the sheet to go, and I'm just like, hey, I'm winning you over. Man. This yes. is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. Ben knows how to tell a story. This is oh, fucking fantastic. Thank you. But yeah. I will also say, when I wrote Bringing Down the House, Which so I wrote the book still my about favorite the book MIT done. Blackjack team. But the book, twenty one, twenty one. Mm -hmm. The book came out the same week the Queen Latifah movie Bringing Down the House came out. So everybody I knew kept calling me and saying, I'm seeing billboards for your book. What does Queen Latifah play in your book? Uh, and I was just saying, well, I know I wrote the one about <laughs> MIT Black to team. We had here's, here's how they knew that one was Ben's and the other one was Black. The word the was spelled D A. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you know. If it's, if it's D A, bring it on the house. In, that's the one for the, you. That's the black one. <laughs> Can I ask you one one question? Sure. I don't I don't know if you want to answer this. I'll answer anything. Well, because it's it's been a few years now. I, uh, I've told you many times I loved bringing down the house. The yeah. book. I didn't like the movie so much. Twenty one. I, I didn't hate it. Well, that's yeah. not on him though. But I want to ask him now that it's been a few years. <laughs> yeah. He was it, it was his baby. They made into a film. Right. Are you how happy much, with how the much film? Control do you I have, have no though? control over anything. So how, when people write books, they are you're We're just like lower than the caterer. Yeah. Get a, We're the lowest you, person. They buy the rights and they tell you to go whatever. Well, yeah, I was uh, on set. And you're but, not a Boston cracker, by the way. You're Jewish, right? I, I am Jewish. So he, yeah. well, this is not a cracker. Boston so he, cracker thing. I even no, like him because he's a Boston well, Jew. Right. Did you he like, went through what I went through. Did, did you like what well, they did with less, your book now less, that it's been well. a few years? Uh, you know what? I actually like 21 because every 21-year-old guy watches that movie before they go to Vegas. So it captured something about, like, kids hitting Vegas. It's not like mm -hmm. Rounders. Mm -hmm. It's not like the Rounders right, of right. Blackjack. Right. Um, and they didn't set out to make that. And, you know, Rounders didn't do well. And so they made a movie I that was, rounders. like, which is a great movie. <laughs> yeah. You know what Ben is? 
Mm. Ben is the Michael Crichton there you go. of the information age. I want to put that on the back of my next book. Nice. Damn, Patrice I'm gonna, I'm gonna O'Neill. Put, nice. Yes, Patrice O'Neill. The Michael Crichton, Michael Crichton of the information of, age. Of, 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 they probably even, there's something better, but you're, you're, That's pretty you're good, though, the, Patrice, he's like the that. Twitter, the not MySpace Facebook. anymore, but the Facebook, Twitter. He's that guy. They're going like to make that. all his movies. He's the young yeah. fucking everybody. Make, let's make a movie. That's young and like relevant. Right. This is the man you talk to right here. You like already it. have two movies under your belt. Two, yeah. two of your books. Two of your books made it uh, made into movies. Any more? Well, Sex on the Moon. We sold it to the same producers of the Social Network. So it's Kevin Spacey and Scott Rudin and Dana Brunetti and DeLuca, and it's being made by Columbia Sony. So this is the next one. Kevin um, Spacey's a, pro a, a, a producer. He produced player Twenty One and he produced Social Network in this one. Yeah. He produced Social Network. He was the one. He's my first reader. So when I finished the book, I sent it to Kevin, and he's been, you know, a big. Big, uh, and he's he's it, feeling that he loves it, and uh, we've already uh, you're they're already working on it. Money, man. Well, I mean, yeah, he's making money. You're Look at his fucking wife. Money, oh, man. This piece of shit gets her. <laughs> I, I agree with that. I agree with that. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> no, I don't. Let's be honest it. here. This guy is banking. <laughs> Fuck, are you awesome. crazy? You see this ten? Yeah, she's she's way hotter than me. I'm 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 <laughs> I, I can't know. wait till his fifth book and he's if just hitting her in the head with it. Like, if you had seen me shit. in college. <laughs> oh, ben, shit. He's so crazy. Ben, let's do something. Take, get, get, you see me writing. <laughs> when you how see you me you writing. Got, how do you think you got those shoes? <laughs> What you're saying oh, is don't ever take writing? it for granted. Uh, I don't don't, don't ever take it for granted. Whatever the <laughs> fuck you see me doing. Yeah. <laughs> you, why do you think you're here? <laughs> like The Shining. When you hear this, oh, yeah. <laughs> stay the fuck away from that. Wendy, Wendy. <laughs> if you had seen me in college, you'd know. I was 114 pounds as a college senior at, my, at 5'10". I was like... I look like Chris Evans wow. before he becomes Captain America. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> we were just yeah. talking about that yesterday. Things, yeah. uh, well, I think have yes, yeah, they, worked out much better. So, so did this kid... In, <laughs> she seems like a nice guy. Yeah. So, so does, like a very I, nice, actual yeah. nice guy. I wish you well. I wish this guy well already. I like this. This, this kid that stole the moon rocks, did he yeah. ruin the moon rocks? Did he open so, well, them up he, from he the containers and stuff? he had sex on some of them, so they frown upon that. And right. then, uh, <laughs> he, uh, <laughs> you know, nobody really... Did. He actually ate a little piece also, because he wanted to be the only person to have moon rock in his blood. Oh, my God. God. And, is, but is, he then, is that dangerous? He, he packed it all back up, mutant. and he he sent he put it in a FedEx box, the stuff he wasn't oh. going to sell, to return to NASA. He was actually a good kid. He just did something stupid. He tried to sell uh, for $100,000 uh, a portion of it. He didn't realize the person he was selling to had already turned to the FBI. So he walks into this restaurant, everyone and he notices FBI. everyone in the restaurant is, is between the ages of 30 and 40, because oh, they were all Jesus. FBI agents. And he remembers looking at it, and I have... I got all of the FBI files. I filed with the FBI and I got a thousand pages. And the first thing he says to the FBI agent is like, man, I hope you're not wearing a wire or I'm fucked. And that's the oh, first thing he says. Wow. That's a great thing to have on recording, on recording too. Right. Yeah. Oh, no, it, was, it was over right now, there. When, you, wow. when you're talking with, a, with the, the people from the books that you're writing, yeah. okay, now do you have to call your books f fiction because you have to, or you, you can call it. I, An these actual are story. These are true stories. I mean, I but get how a, do you corroborate and make sure yeah. that it's absolutely positively real? And I interview everyone I can, pretty much, and then I get all the court documents and I get the FBI files and I interview hundreds of people. And I, I've got by the end, I've got like ten thousand pages of. When he stuff. says, when, but when you name the book "Sex on on yeah. the Moon." That was my wife's title, by the you way. Have, so oh, I'm not the dirty mind behind the title. Don't give her credit. She oh, got the title. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Man. Let her stay man. delusional. Man. Yeah. Let me, no, yeah. let me you tell you a little you say, story. Sex in the morning. Yeah, great. Thanks for your little title. Oh, man. Let me tell you a little story <laughs> about a guy that was in a band oh, no. that eventually got him into radio. Yeah. And uh, he was married to a girl that worked at a bar. Oh. And before they got married... He went into this bar and and met one of the guys in the band that eventually he got in with, wrote some song uh, parodies, and got on the radio with. <laughs> the lawyer used that as if she, if she wasn't working at the bar, he wouldn't have hooked up with the band, oh, no. wouldn't have written this song, sent it into a guy, let's just call him Opie, and uh, wound up getting on the show that became the Opie and Anthony show, and then got right oh, no. yes. half his shit. Don't ever admit so that what, stuff. So what he's saying is, admit it. Don't admit it. always have, yeah. just say always, you. always mistrust her. 
<laughs> do you think? Do you think honestly? Don't look at her, Ben. <laughs> don't look. I've don't look at her, Ben. Because if be you there. get writer's block, she yeah. might be on a magic carpet right out of here. <laughs> do you think during during Howard Stern's divorce proceedings <laughs> that he loved the fact that in his movie he went and it was Allison? <laughs> it was all about Allison. I give my it's girl like, no oh, credit. Oh. Shit, it's in a movie. <laughs> oh, I'm man. telling my girl yeah. right now, you get man. no credit, bitch. <laughs> There's some for bitterness. Nothing. I hear some bitterness well, what in you here. <laughs> When she said that, when she said that book title, you should have said that's a great. You know, I already have it written down. We're thinking well, alike, something yeah. like that. Yeah. 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 So we'll give her a little too. credit. Yeah. Parallel thinking. Yeah, parallel exactly. thinking. Wow. You could have. You should have called it lunar fucking. Just because she called <laughs> it. <laughs> but let me ask you a question, Ben. So when you call, when you call when you said when when you call it sex on the moon. Yeah. It it's so his story of having sex on the rocks is right. so important to the name of the yeah, book. Yeah, yeah. That how do you you well, just have to take it for granted no, that he's no. telling so, you the truth. So what happens is they're in a hotel, they're about to go to this restaurant. There's a third character named Gordon who's like this druggy um so this Gordon was like a pothead who the main character, Thad Roberts, had come to and said, You might know criminals. Can you tell me how I can sell these moon rocks? And so Gordon is the one who went on the internet and found some guy. Um, so hey, Gordon, found a great guy. <laughs> Gordon didn't even realize that they were real moon rocks. He didn't know his friend worked at NASA. He didn't even believe we'd been to the moon. So he shows up at the hotel room. He walks in, and Thad Roberts says, Here's the moon rocks. And he looks in, and he sees all these NASA emblems, and he's like, Oh, wow. fuck. <laughs> and he's like, We could get in a lot of trouble. And Thad's like, Yeah, you know, it's all set up. And so Gordon says, I'm going to go get a pizza because he's like totally stoned. So he walks out of the hotel room, and that's when Thad does the sex scene, and Gordon comes back into the hotel. And the girl, they're just finished with having so there, sex. There is and then they the say song. they just okay. had sex on the moon rock. So <clears throat> wow. there's a third person who just walked into the room. Um, and then at trial, and he said it, he said it again. Um, he wow. talked about it. So, so you know, in thorough. the end, you're this right. I wasn't in the room when he and her had sex on right, the moon. But, right. but there's multiple people who say that they did. It's as confirmed it's as it can be. Without right, being there. Yeah. Maybe the Sheraton has a photo or something <laughs> yeah, somewhere. Then. Maybe they have a two-headed maid now. All right. So how long does it the take sheets? the the research in in uh, conjunction with the book? This one took a year because I had to <laughs> trust him and he had to trust me. And he had just he called me literally. He had just gotten out of prison, so he was in probation. Wow. And I had never met anybody who'd been in prison that long. Mm. Um, so I flew and I met him in a crowded lobby first. And he was the <laughs> nicest, most Safe charismatic, place. like who pays brilliant. him? You? Um, no, he can't get. I didn't pay him anything. Um, oh, wow. he can't get money from his crime. Mm. Old son of Sam. Sam. I don't know Sam, what the son of Sam. rule is, but oh, yeah, but did you give him a little, oh. a little gift? <laughs> well, <laughs> nice bottle of wine. Or um, something. I mean, he's. I know that the movie people are going to involve him in some way. You know, yeah. maybe he'll be a consultant or something like that. And then he could get paid for that. I don't know what the rules are. I don't really, I don't. Can. I don't. You know, when what I read a book about, what if they hire him to be the caterer? The caterer, right? <laughs> mm. Or the expert on moon rocks, right? He, he knows. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure that there will be some. And also, he can, you know, if he gets infamous, you know, there's speaking, there's, yeah. there's stuff there's that you the can ways do. There's other ways around it, obviously. How, what percentage of, of all the world's moon rocks did he have? Well, a very tiny. So he stole, there was a safe, and it was marked, it was essentially trash. So it was moon rocks that had already been experimented on that NASA doesn't use anymore that's shoved in a corner, basically. Oh, okay. Um, but he actually stole it from his professor's lab. So his professor had been working on it. Um, so the professor claimed that he ruined his life's work. And that's the reason they threw the book at him. Oh. I mean, they put him in jail for seven and a half speaking, years. Hold on. Speaking of that, uh, wow. what do you but learn? But it was only 100 grams that he sold but, in the 600-pound safe. Right. Wow. So out of okay. 840 pounds, it was that's like nothing. Yeah. a pound. But Ben, right? what do you learn from uh, moon rocks? Uh, well, it was this guy's lifetime too. work. Um, he, there was also a piece of Mars on there, too, uh, in the safe, too. So, uh, you know, they, 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 to see what the atmosphere, I don't even know. All, there's all these different things they <laughs> blah, do. Blah, but blah, nothing. Blah. They're learning nothing. nothing. They learn uh, the origins of the Earth. They're learning nothing. Uh, they learn um, the chemical um, composition <laughs> of some <laughs> celestial <laughs> bodies. And, you know, NASA could have destroyed the value by just going, oh, yeah, 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 keep them. Take them. We we just gonna arrest you for for just stealing them? Yeah, like, yeah. You can but we just don't have give them. We don't give a shit about moon rocks. <laughs> moon rocks, right. like it. Who cares? Wow, this is a really see what we got. in other saves. Uh, Uncle Sully, uh, Beacon Hill. Ask Ben if it's true that he writes books in an empty apartment. In an empty apartment, I write books in. I have a apartment 
it's not empty, but it's my office. It's Uh-oh. and it's uh, I shut the drapes and I have music loud and like oh, I sit in like a shit. dark. I'm like a little hermit when yeah, I write. That sounds I, sexy, man. <laughs> that sounds pretty sexy. cool. That's oh. like a movie moment. It's, it's very dark. Like one of those. And, uh, you don't go to Vermont. <laughs> I don't do the whole like misery <laughs> thing. You don't get hit by cars. I did. I wrote bring down the house. Bring down the house. I wrote in Vegas and I went and I stayed in a different hotel every night for three weeks and wrote that book. Because I wanted to feel like I was, you know. Oh, yeah. I'm so impressed by people who write books. It's amazing to me. Does it come easy to you? It's amazing to um, me. The writing isn't, the, the, the research takes a lot, but I go inside it. I mean, I really become a part of the story. Like, I was sneaking around NASA, and the main character was texting Wait, me. how did you sneak around So NASA? what happened is NASA didn't want to talk to me. They right. didn't want anybody writing this, and they told all the scientists right. not to talk to me. And so I just went on their website, and they have this <laughs> level nine tour, and they take 12 people a day, three days a week, and you get really inside NASA. So I just signed up, and I'm thinking they're going to cross-check my name, and they're not going to... But no, <laughs> and so I think, fly yeah. to Houston, and I'm just doing this tour, and you're literally inside where all the astronauts are. You're by this space shuttle simulator, and I Dad texts me, and he's like, okay, there's a door. Go through that door, Holy and that's shit. where my office was, and that's where I used to sit at the cafeteria. So I did my own. He was my tour guide as I'm wow. in NASA. And it's all perfectly fine. I mean, they they you know they didn't they had my name and everything. Yeah. They just didn't realize it was the same person that they had told all their scientists not to talk the to. The government, baby. Wow, it's a yeah. big organization. The elite of the elite. What did you learn about NASA that well, we don't, I, first we don't all, know about? You know, when you think of NASA, you think of the '60s, and you're picturing Tom Hanks right. in a little silver capsule. But that's not at all what NASA's like. It's yeah. all about Mars, and they have like robots and stuff, and it's the coolest place in the world. One of the, they have this. Oh, I mean, I'm really geeky, but. They have this swimming pool that's the largest swimming pool in the world, and they sink a space shuttle into the swimming pool, and they sink an international space station, and then the astronauts wow, in that full is uniforms dive because underwater is similar to being in space, and they, they work as if they're on the space shuttle underwater in this massive swimming Actual pool. So size. I'm in there, and that's Thad's crazy. like, his job was swimming around with the astronauts because he was a scuba expert. And so he's like, that's where, you know, and that's where when the moon rocks were stolen, he's taking <clears> a shower <throat> after the pool, and everyone at NASA's like, did you hear somebody fucking stole 600 pounds of moon rocks? Oh, sure. and, and then everyone's <laughs> like, and Thad's sitting there, oh, really? And, and they didn't notice it was stolen for 48 hours. Um, so it was 48 hours after the theft everyone at NASA realized the safe was gone. Can I ask Damn. you the, 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 like, moving ahead to the movie yeah. part of it? So Social Network is the untold story of right. the man who, the kid that created the biggest boom, boom, ba, 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 boom. Right. So this one, <laughs> what's the vision of the, is it the, the story that you didn't hear? Or like, what would yeah. be the... The thing that the thing. That well, the, the subtitle is the, the amazing story behind the most audacious heist in history. Okay. But I think you know, I don't. I mean, I don't get involved in the PR and everything. Right, but yeah, I think right, they're right. gonna. I think this story is really cool because it's like Ocean's Eleven meets mm-hmm. the right stuff. So it's got both the Ocean's Eleven stuff, but then it's got all the space things. But yeah. it's also a romance because he was in love, and we've all done something stupid. And what and happened then, to her? Well, she dumped him, so he gets to prison. Oh. And uh, he, she and her friend were part of the crime. So the three of them did the crime, him and a 19-year-old and a 20-year-old girl. And he goes to the courts and says, I did it all. I forced them to do oh, it. No. He yeah. takes oh, the yeah. rap because he's still in love with her. The, and he's, the and bitch he's, from Juno. Is he took the right. pinch. <laughs> he took it. Took and the then like a man. He writes a letter to her every day the... right from jail. He writes a letter every single day. <laughs> oh, and then oh, his third year, oh, he comes back to his you know, little room as his cell, I guess it's called, right? And stacked on his bed are all of the unopened letters because her father wouldn't let her read them. Oh, and damn. I contacted her and she was not happy I was writing this book. Really? She's like, you know, a stupid well, moment in her life. She should have she got involved because I know in his story, she is a... Uh... No, you know what? She is an he's ass. Still, he still uh, he doesn't he doesn't say that. He always is like mother. he loved her oh, and he's uh, to get back he together. did it for her. <laughs> <laughs> he's <laughs> hoping. Baby. What, what is that yeah. guy doing is now? Is she hot? Well, you know, his. <laughs> I mean, sure. She, 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 he described her as very beautiful and, and super Oh, you didn't hot. see her? I haven't seen her. She didn't want to talk to me. I bet she, she was she like is. the Mark Zuckerberg. Does she have a Facebook page? Let's take a look I, at this. I broad. searched for her a lot. Fucking... I changed her name in the book, too. Because oh, uh, keep she the asked name. me to. Keep she the asked name. me to. Probably but on CBS Sunday morning the other day, they did show a picture of her. So I don't know. Oh. But um, his ex wife was, was beautiful, too. So he got kicked out of his home. He had a hard background. He was a fundamentalist Mormon household. And it. 17, he confessed to his parents he had premarital sex. So oh. they 
banished him to the basement. Banished. He was not allowed to speak to anyone in the family because he was going to hell, and then he was kicked out of the house, and they never spoke to him again. So when he went to jail, it was a no-cash bail. Anybody could sign him out for it, and he spent a year in county lockup in Florida in the place called the Submarine, which is the hardcore prison, because no one would sign a piece of paper. His unreasonable parents. His parents would not speak to him again, and he's done. I hate him. And so 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 he had been married at 17 to the girl, 18, the girl he had been having premarital sex with. Mm. She's beautiful. Um, and then he met this intern, and, and that was the next thing. But now that he's out of jail, where is he? And what is oh, he yeah, doing? and so yeah, there's a scene also. Hmm. He calls his ex-wife because he has nobody's phone number. He's in jail, and he calls her up, and she hears all of the craziness behind him in jail, and she's like, well, have fun with your new friends. Oh, <laughs> oh that, you don't want to hear that. It's it's like, no, no, fun here is not good. Uh, how old uh, is he? He's now, he was 25 when he went to jail. He's 32 now, 33. And he's, he's a good 20. kid. He's, he's re-getting his Ph.D., you know, he studied astronomy and physics in jail wow. and uh, got out. And uh, I mean, he had a hard, he didn't do, in prison was hard. You know? What was his motivation for <clears throat> stealing this? And, well, and, he, but it, it was, was two things. It was love for this girl. This he girl. wanted to impress her. But he also was yeah, but isn't it impre- the, you, you can impress a girl in other ways and steal a You can impress yeah. her by saying you're going to be an astronaut. You're being rational. You're being rational. Yeah. It's like you want to impress her the most you can. With that kind of young love, you want to... But then why you know, try to yeah. sell it then? Well, exactly. For there the was money. a financial thing, so too. All right. It was a mix of, yes, that's why know, he said, he so, said, I'm going to take her to Africa. And she's a bum. It. But look, yeah. look, look, the girl thing, that's all well and fine. But there's got to be an element of just sheer greed that comes into this where he, he has this, realizes has, the, the value and goes, yeah, I can make but, some money on this. But, but okay, yeah. so if he, You know, if he hadn't tried to sell it, he probably even got away with it. Might have gotten away with it, right? So you stole diamonds? <laughs> mm-hmm. Just so you can fuck your girl on a on a on on a bed of diamonds, <laughs> right? Then you go doodly doop doo doo. Like, well, I have diamonds. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I am I gonna well. return them to yeah. the guy I yeah, stole them from? You <laughs> sell them. I'm confused. How did he get the safe out? So was, I mean, they have to have huge security. Girls, huge security. First of all, to get into the lab, it had an electronic cipher lock with all the buttons, and he used fluorescing powder so you could see what buttons had been pressed, uh, and he yeah. used a black light to do that, oh. so he knew what buttons to press. He gets into the safe. The greasy. Uh, he Wait, 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 I've heard that before, yeah. Yeah. but how do you know the sequence? He... Well, he says, and I asked him about that too, and he says, by, you can tell with the light by how bright the light is on each key, because uh, when you press it, a little bit comes off of your finger each time you press, a little bit of the oils on your finger comes oh, so off of each key, darker so there's a slight one. difference. Oh, That's what he said. Oh, I don't know the answer ah, to that question. Wait, wait, I don't get that in. Yeah, it would be the, the, the one that fluoresces the most would be the first key, because right. that's when you have the most oil oh, on it, okay. and it slowly right. dissipates right. Sorry, like but paint on a roller. You exactly. think that's true? Yeah. I don't know. That's what I, don't know. I should recreate that experiment. fucking looks cool as shit, though, I bet. I but that's that's, that's you something didn't, that would you look didn't really do that cool. Experiment? I didn't redo that experiment. Yeah, um, we should do so that's that. a good question. But then uh, oh, wow. he had two girls with him. They had a mechanized dolly that he had gotten from a Home Depot. Um, but what's crazy is, you know, he, the, there's cameras everywhere. So he had a he borrowed a van that had a NASA emblem on it. He switched the plates in a parking lot, <laughs> so it was a random thing. Um, he came on a rainy night so that the guards in the kiosks wouldn't go outside. Um, and he had a NASA ID. <clears throat> he found a back door. And he knew how to get into the back door. And so once he had the safe, they get it on, and him and two, you know, nineteen, twenty-year-old girls get this <laughs> massive safe. But the security cameras. Now you're walking so around he NASA knows, with a. Sh- he a knows safe. where all the cameras are, so he essentially gets around the cameras. There's ways to get around it. It's like a video. Then game. when you're in the jeep, you have to drive at five miles per hour because the speed limit is five oh. miles per hour through NASA. Otherwise, oh, wow. they arrest That's you. Oh wow, So be he's, his getaway was five mile an hour Holy getaway. Holy shit! Like <laughs> <through the laughs> whole... fucking Austin Powers. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm gonna kill you the, the, with this safe full of moon rocks. That sounds like a video game where the guards are like, hey, what's that? I know. Must be the wind. <laughs> and they just but, go about their business. Bad video game guards. <laughs> it's yeah, raining. I will go up, He pulls up to the last security <laughs> kiosk, and the guards are two feet away, you know, but it's oh, pouring shit. rain. And they don't want to get outside. And they see a NASA van. They see a NASA oh. van that looks a little heavy in the back. With yeah, a little whatever. heavy. A couple of college kids in the front. Wow. It's crazy. That's an amazing story. That, that is. That's a crazy story. I, I don't read. So I, I, when, <laughs> well, are, when are you doing book. the audio? Do you do the audio? Casey Affleck did the audio book. Wow. Uh, oh, okay. yeah, then I won't oh. do it. Are you keeping it? Boston you're keeping boy. it in Boston. Huh? Keeping it in Boston. Yeah. See, that's yeah. like that's. I never got the Boston fucking, very clicky. Yeah, they got a very couple of clicky. Boston. Well, you could have done the audio. Boston my next mafia. book, you'll do the audio. Who, who's the guys that do the silly movies? 
Uh, the brother, the Farrelly Farrelly's. Brothers. Those yeah. sons of bitches. They use, all the, they use all their old friends. <laughs> yeah, they do. Every all friends. Hat. I can't have sperm in my hair. You fucking two <laughs> cocksuckers. <laughs> <laughs> <There's no, laughs> where's the black people in your fucking books, Ben? <laughs> oh. Racist, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I well, got a story. Do you have a story? <laughs> <laughs> How comfy could it be having sex on Moon Rocks? He said that, it wasn't. It that's wasn't gotta be really nasty. He said it wasn't. Well, it's just place the rocks. Just like, it was under the, the mattress cover. Carefully, you know. yeah. yeah. Put a comforter over. Maybe them. around you, like like. Oh, yeah, that, an older so, man yeah. can figure out some stuff to do with a moon rock. Yeah. Some degrading yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, horrible. Uh, Stick it in there and go. Head. See if you can float, bitch. <laughs> 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 see if you can. See if it's anti gravity. Stick this in there. See. <laughs> How you feel? Uh, 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 anything else about NASA? Uh, uh, NASA and your, and your time in there. Yeah, you know, uh, it was interesting. So the main character of this Gibson guy is the professor he stole from. He claims, and the reason that Dad got so much jail time is that also in the safe, Gibson says, were these notebooks, these green notebooks that had his entire life's work that he was going to turn into a book. And when the safe was found by the FBI, there were no notebooks. So he claims that Dad destroyed them. Dad says there never were any notebooks and he never saw any <laughs> notebooks. The judge um, basically threw the book at Dad saying, you destroyed this man's life's work. And he was only going to get two years in jail. Three so years seven in jail. was the maximum? He, it was beyond the, the maximum. The maximum for what he had done was really three years. But then they, they claimed that he had interrupted a government operation, which oh, is what the terrorists get. Yeah. So they basically got him as a they terrorist. They can just nail you on anything. And then it, they can make anything And he had to do all, every single day, huh? He did. Well, he did seven and a half instead of he eight. Did and Holy him. shit. Um, and it was, you know, the, it, he said the worst was the, yeah, the first year was horrible was because he was in a county lockup in you know, Florida with murderers and, and rapists and everything in a, in a real... In a jail. Jail is jail. way worse than That's what prison sometimes. Did he get raped? Um, no, not that I know of. I was... I was careful with those kind of questions, but he did say there was a dead person in one cell with him, and he he learned wow. for 24 hours. But and he learned how to not get killed. He said he said it was like that's um, something you have to learn. But he did say you don't want to be there. When he first got to jail, he couldn't understand anybody because he was a white kid from Utah, and everyone was a black guy from Florida. And he Wait, what? 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 Uh, what's the fat joint that he went to? It was uh, called the Submarine Orient County. In Tampa, I guess it is. So, so, mm. so what he did most of his time. Well, he did the first year in Tampa, and then and he was moved to Colorado to a federal prison. To Colorado, a fed, which he said was great. The fed prison, yeah. Fed fed time is beautiful. He said it yeah. was great. You have to do all fed time, like all of it, almost ninety percent when you get right. fed time. But federal but prisons are it's, it's not okay. as much uh, mm. bullshit, you know? right? But the first year was not fed time. <laughs> yeah, because he was in, doing he was jail. Yeah. He was in jail. He was in jail, and wow. so he said that was hard. And the first night, did he fought? He, he fought. I'm sure he, he goes to sleep the first night, and the more and, and all of a sudden he's woken up by all the mics are all saying, Houston, we have a problem. Houston, we have a problem. Because they figured oh, out that he was the guy who had robbed NASA. Oh, that is so hilarious. So he woke up by all the guards oh, torturing just, him. You just kind of want to be anonymous. <laughs> right, you do. And so everyone's now, like Moonrock, and he became Moonrock. Now I don't Moonrock. believe you. What? No one's sleeping their first night in prison. <laughs> it's in there. He said, well, uh, I don't now know I don't how many hours he slept. No, I don't believe bullets. He did say he went to sleep crying. He and finally, crying. maybe <laughs> He just passed out. <laughs> finally. Yeah. 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 Who the <laughs> fuck is having a good night's sleep first well, I don't know if it was a good night. Yeah, could... But he's, he's fuck a hard... Come on, the moon rock, motherfucker, yeah, bitches. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Really, are you really? Uh, yeah, it's it's, on the moon it's rocks, a crazy story. But, you know... He's, was, you know, in prison, he set up an astronomy class and he taught astronomy nice. um, for the last two years. And that's how he got back into the University of Utah when he and got astronomy's out. Astronomy's very interesting shit, too. Like, this, yeah. this, you know what? You sold me, man. I, they, white guy from Boston sold me. Yeah, I like, I like this guy. books are really good. They, oh, they really are. Thank they move. You. Uh, Sounds very moving cool. forward, have they started casting the movie or anything? They haven't, like but I, I read somewhere that they, they got a director, um, uh, <laughs> Will Gluck. Um, the guy who did, has the new Mila Kunis Justin Timberlake movie coming out, but um, I read that on the internet, so I don't know anything more than the internet says. But we you had, have no uh, choice on that either. I, I don't. I mean, you have any choice on casting? Can I play one of the guards that was in the rain and let him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're like, hey, let him go. Go, yeah, go ahead. Go, go ahead. All right, no right. biggie. <laughs> we uh, we had the guy that played the twins in Social Network. Oh yeah, there. Army. What Army? Thank you. He's what awesome. A great isn't he? guy, man. Holy shit. That guy's awesome. Army. That, that... I'm gonna watch Social Network. You love it. It's I such a good movie. Fucking, I just can't. You know. And Justin Timberlake's great God. in it. He's and I was blown away. I didn't know he was playing both guys. So they took. There's a model who 
who they superimposed, you know, his head on the other guy. So nobody knows who the other guy is, which is kind of sad. But Army's face is on two different bodies. But I just thought they they cast it's like seamless. It was the fat lady from Everybody Dance. Now they, they fucking put her. I thought they just got twins for the oh, part. Yeah. One guy playing I've seen this fucking movie now. Have you Damn. met the real twins yet? Have you had those guys in I've here? I've seen them in the press. The Winklevi? Yeah. They're yeah. hysterical. Yeah, are they? They'll never give up. They really? believe Mark Zuckerberg is evil man who stole their idea, and they will continue what to... What do you think? After going well, through Well, you know, that. I think Mark is the genius behind Facebook. I do think that he doesn't treat people well, and mm. I think he led them on because they were the cool kids on campus, and they had a website, and they're like, hey, come work for us and he was like work with the cool kids cool and then he just blew them off and wow. launched facebook is that because he uh it's been hint hinted that he's a bit autistic i mean he's a strange kid so he's socially very he's... socially awkward he sweats he like and they've been doing tons of media training on him and he's still like oh he's a weird kid he's a weird kid he's but really he's also strange, brilliant um but he treats people difficult and a lot of people along the way have sort of run away from him but he didn't want you know he didn't talk to me he spent a year refusing to talk to me and then when the book came out he called me the jackie collins of silicon valley so i don't you know he doesn't like me all that much but the movie it. ended oh, so up you doing got all the information based on not him well i got the other main character um eduardo who was his best friend who co-found who um co-founded the company is the one who came to me i was he sitting got some off shit, that's eduardo got he got five percent of facebook Wow, that's fucked up. Yeah. Is that good? That's five, five billion dollars. That's what? Five, five billion dollars. Five mil a bill. 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 Five percent of Facebook is five billion. Yes. Yeah. Shouldn't he send me a gift basket? Yeah. <laughs> you know, it worked out for him. Why does that even? What's the math on that? That means it's a hundred Facebook... billion dollar company. Holy shit! Isn't that crazy? How much is Zuckerberg worth? About fifteen billion. He I think sold... or eight billion, eight to fifteen somewhere. <laughs> I don't know the number now. He sold it. No, they haven't sold it yet. So he still runs it, but that's the valuation. Amazing. It's crazy. Mother Talk about billions. Of amazing for an idea. I was reading the other day. There was a kid who was at Stanford who just sold ads for their weekly paper who Facebook hired in 2004 who's now worth 70 million dollars. Fuck. I mean, he was a college student Not, in 2004 writing ads for his paper. You said you're, no you're a techie, way. right? I have a, I have a question. <laughs> I'm not, yeah, I'm not, yeah. not a trekkie. A techie. No, so I mean, I'm, just, I'm a geek. I'm a geek. Yeah. Okay, you, you might be notice. anything. Yeah. What is Facebook and Twitter? What What do they do? Okay, so we we agree on the demise of MySpace. Yeah, well, I don't well, know. No, it might make Justin a Timberlake's well, going to Timberlake bought it for a couple of dollars, and but he's whatever. got probably some powerful people behind him to reinvent it. All right, well, fuck, it's right. gone as we as as fair all, all intents and yeah. purposes. Fair enough. Fair enough. What is going on with Facebook, and what what what's the root of Facebook and the root of Twitter that could see those two go the direction of MySpace where... where oh, yeah. Like, I don't think what, Facebook's going to go that way because I think Facebook's just getting... They're using Skype now. I think they're doing yeah, a lot of smart things. I can see that. I Definitely. can see Facebook yeah. staying alive. Twitter, I don't understand how they're going to make money. I think Twitter's great, and I use Twitter, and I love Twitter. Um, it's a great way to reach out and reach a lot of people, and it's incredibly narcissistic. It's all about... <laughs> No one reads other people's tweets. They just tweet, right? So, it's so true. I mean, you could have you know a lot of follow. You tweet to them, and then you just wait for their responses, right? But you're not really reading. But that's Twitter, right? It's all about. Shut up! You're gonna ruin it. You know, look at me! Look at me! It. Which but is a very American. Edge. Everyone yeah, wants yes. everyone to look at you, right? It's true, though. So I love. I think Twitter is really usable. I use it like five times a day. Tweet, tweet, tweet. But. How do they make money? Because if they really throw ads all over the place, people are you'll be like, I'm not going to tweet anymore. Mm. But Facebook is something you use every day because you want to see the parties you weren't invited to, right? You see all the pictures or you want to like, you know, the picture tagging is the genius behind Facebook. Yeah. Because yeah. that's the first thing you look at is where photos. You look at photos. It's Here's what it is. Thing. And I'm not on Facebook. That's that's the, the strange thing about that. I don't understand the workings of Facebook, but didn't didn't MySpace have pictures? Yeah, but MySpace, you'd go to someone's site and there's like glitter. <laughs> you know, it was like it was crazy. You couldn't even like you can't surf from site oh, to yeah. site. Oh yeah, everyone everyone so. had could redo their own page. Mm -hmm. So like you'd go to some site, suddenly there's like music blaring and the site yeah. is shaking, and then yeah. your computer freezes up. I don't know. I, that was my experience. So on MySpace. Fa Facebook yeah, it was just too is loud. just yeah. the same. It's the same. Everyone's page yeah. is the same. Yeah, and it's like. If a photo comes up in your newsfeed, it's like you were tagged in a photo, and then you go there and you're like, "Oh, I was there." Whatever. So yeah, people over customized. And yeah. The noise and the music and videos. Three videos, four would start playing at the same time. Yeah, that's crazy. You so you think on. MySpace will, will uh, Facebook it and make it like that? <laughs> no, I think I think they'll try. I think MySpace it's it become a music site, a dedicated music site. You I think? think that's, yeah. Well, Timberlake. I mean, what it's going to be about bands? Mm. I would think. Yeah. But makes sense. Facebook will keep getting bigger, and Twitter will too. But Facebook's a monster. Fucking Ben Mesrick is the is you are now the so you are the focal point of social 
The social well, I, world, man. Oh, I don't know. You I'm, are I'm, fucking Twitter Ben. That's your Twitter. new shit. <laughs> I moved on to the Ben the, tweets. The That's heist, your fucking the heist. Ben yeah. tweets. Yeah. That's your shit, man. You you oh, the guy. You the guy. guy. Not guy. on purpose. Oh, we got in Boston. Guy. Are you gonna come hang nah, out with me in Boston? Nah, man. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Patrice is a realist, though. He knows. Oh. He knows when these mics go off. It's a whole no, different hey, world. Ben, we are not hanging the fuck out unless we're both famous. And I lay Ben, and we do one of these. And I'm hanging with Ben. No oh. doubt. Did we do it? Anything else about Sex on the Moon? Um, no, it's the new book by Men, yeah, uh, it's Ben Mesrick. Now, so. Sex on the Moon, the, the great book by Ben Mesrick that he named himself. That I came up with. The and title. had no help. From his lovely wife. I'm going to check it out. And I don't uh, I'm speaking at uh, uh, Bryant read, Park yeah. at 1230. Yeah. Um, I'm getting uh, in the Bryant Park reading room. I think it's an outdoor thing. And then uh, tonight at 7 at the Strand. Downtown. Oh, for real? So, so, signings, yes. Signings. Yeah, that's great. Ben Mesrick on Twitter. That's Spelled wonderful. M-E-Z-R-I-C-H. Thanks. And I love your tweets. And yeah. the whole Anthony Weiner thing was the greatest <laughs> moment. Ah! How amazing was that when I, I opened up my you, OP tweet? I read yours every day. Well, and I'm like, seriously. Yeah. It, was, it was me and Ant. And I was like, yeah, you got a picture. Great. You got the picture. Well, yeah. how did you get the Do you blame button? us? Uh, was, no, uh, I would have done that the guy, too. I've... We kind of feel bad because we just right. Anthony especially made a nice friendship nah, with the guy. Out drinking uh, with him like the Monday oh, before, really? but and he was uh, waving that. Yeah, no, uh, no, no, the guy who had Wiener's uh, picture. Uh, oh, Breitbart. Bright, bright and, yeah. and and he was waving that. But fall. that was like a moment in history right there. You yeah. can't not put that. Oh uh, yeah, had he was so. waving it around. Nothing about y'all getting credit that for that shit. Incredible stuff. Yeah. We got yeah. international attention. Yeah, yeah, we just don't yeah. brag about it. You just don't what? We don't brag about it. We did a day on it, and then we just moved on. I mean, that was the biggest thing. You didn't hear about it, right? I fucking oh, didn't. I didn't All right, hear so that you guys why are you broke laughing at me when they I broke, say that? They've had the picture. Sam laughed, I motherfucker. Mitch. I didn't laugh. I'm looking at you like I didn't know yeah. you broke the story. We were we were psyched that we got some attention, of course. It was, but, it was you know, amazing. The guy was waving the picture around, and, and now he's passing around the room. You're not the reason he got Me and Anna looking at each other. Me and Anna looking at each other like. You didn't. What? You're not the reason he got bopped. Well, you're the reason. Oh, we're the reason he got fired. You're the reason he left. Yeah. Pelosi was. Pelosi was. Like, look, it wasn't looking cold. good for the guy. We'll get no. through this and everything, and then it changed. Oh yeah, and and the news got out that that right after the full nude came out, Pelosi went, "He's got to go. He's oh, got to yeah. go." No, here's was... here's what but happened. The picture was going to get out. Let me show. Let that. me show you with my phone exactly how this happened. Um, I I grabbed the phone from him. He was sitting. He was about passing there. around the room. Right. He was passing around the room. Now, private pile. From Full Metal Jacket, Vincent so, D'Onofrio was sitting, sitting right where there. you're sitting. Right. Yeah, so he was involved in we this whole thing, him, too. We blame him for this whole thing. You so, fucking... I, so, so, make this right, right, man. Make this story okay. this fucking right, man. This is some covert shit. Okay. So, so and the listeners were involved. Well, so and make I, sure you explain how you cock-blocked me the first time, too, by the way. Well, because that was too obvious. All right, go ahead. The Fair first enough. time... I will tell the story. Yeah, we, so we passed the phone around. And it gets to Opie. Opie takes the phone. I already had my phone out. I'm You're like, I'm taking this fucking picture. Puts it on the picture. board, puts it on his board, and goes like this. <laughs> now, Breitbart's looking over, and and I know he's going to fucking lose his mind. So I grab the phone real quick. So I got a blurry. So he gets his my blurry first picture was blurry. Right. Hand picture. Does Breitbart fucking hate you guys now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah. Yeah. Uh, on, on the outside. I don't know what nah, really. Nah. We'll see what happens. So uh, my then, opinion, we don't know for sure. Uh, he, and he, and he loved the he's whole thing. probably only mad because he didn't break it. Right. Well, well and he, was he gonna, couldn't. He backed himself into a corner where he was like, he right? he'd said he wouldn't do it because of the family and this, and he's not going to do this sensational bullshit just for the hell of it. And who but got he was him the picture? Uh, some chick. Some, right? some chick. But Monday when we went out drinking, he was showing everyone, firemen, cops. We were hanging out at some bar. He's showing the everyone was gonna in get the bar. Out there. Right. It was out there. Even Bar Walters after the fact said, I even yeah. saw the picture. I have pictures. Chose not to blah, blah, blah. I got pictures of Ann Coulter looking at the picture. And she's got like her hand over her face and she's freaking out and shit. It's funny as fuck. So here's where where this comes into play and the, the, the audience, Pal Talk, comes into play. So I grab the phone Jesus and I go like, like this. I, I go, I go, Opie, I'm not going to, I don't want you to have this because you're going to take a picture of it. I go like this. I go, but t take a look, take a look. It's and he leans over talk. and I'm, I'm oh. putting it right into the camera here and they screen cap the shit out of it. Oh. Someone then tweeted it, sent it back to us and sent it back to That's us. Awesome. So I That's tweeted genius. it. We both tweeted it and it was everywhere. That's genius. From a screen cap. Cause I was just, so the he, listeners he, he never the knew. picture. All, yeah. all Breitbart saw was me holding the Ooh. camera up. And showing Wait. Opie, but it's showing the camera to Wait. Peltor. Wow. 
This is your next book. This is, this is oh, Sex God. on the Moon Part oh, 2. Man, this yes. is your next book. That is really, Come that on, was yeah. intricate. Yeah. And then I had sex uh, in bed with uh, Anthony, Anthony Weiner, Weiner <laughs> right. just laying on top of him. Yeah, we could sex uh, it up. Wow. We could sex it up for and you so if you he needed didn't, to. Breitbart didn't realize until he probably got home and then he called you and yelled at you? Or? I knew about uh, an hour later. He called me up and was like, could you put out a statement that said that I had nothing to do with the release of this and shit? And I was like, yeah, I'll do it. So he goes, yeah, send it to me immediately because I need this. So I wrote this oh, statement. I remember your statement was awesome. Yeah, yeah. I just wrote a statement. Yeah. It was like, look, he, he didn't know this was going was down nice or statement. anything. Right. And then his lawyer gets back to me with, like, corrections on my uh, statement and other things I should say, words like indemnification okay. and shit. And I'm like, I ain't fucking sending this back. So I called my agent, and he said, no, fuck him. Yeah. And so that's where it ended. Wow. And, uh... How do y'all feel about this? Um, I feel like this is all like news, but how do you feel? We, I feel, I feel we a little did. dirty. I feel a little, <laughs> I feel a little, a little dirty. dirty. Mother, a little dirty. Like, a little dirty. I feel a little dirty. Like, a little dirty. But what oh, was your was your dirty. intention of to be a uh, uh, journalist? No. It, no, our intention was to be two radio guys Getting that hadn't attention. gotten a good story in a while. <laughs> <laughs> so we're like, yeah. hey, you get this dick pic, and all people were talking about is we got to see this dick pic. Everyone wanted but, to see. I feel dirty. Hold about, on, hold on. Okay, you know what? Not you. So if you feel dirty, you didn't get dirty enough. I feel, you, you guys should have fucking. I justify like this. Rolled that hold to on, the hold end, on. Though. I justify like this. I that picture was gonna get out sooner yeah. than later. Fair right. enough. Fair. And I and we took our shot. Said fuck it. It's not like, like this thing is not gonna be out there. But y'all right. didn't. So if you was gonna so why not, ride why not? that horse, why didn't you ride it? Why didn't you really I, ride it? <laughs> Instead of like it kind of, but I mean in terms of I, we took, we broke it like we turned down interviews and stuff. It went on it. Uh, Red Eye was it? I was on Red Eye. Yeah. I was I I talked about it on Hannity. But so we, we yeah, everybody wanted to talk to us. I just said no. It you should have like, said fucking yes if you're gonna do that. You know what, too, I made a video so and said pissed. look here. Yeah, sure he I, was felt, mad. I felt kind of bad because guys. He he was just saying to uh, like some of the producers at Red Eye when I wasn't even there, so he had no reason to say this shit. He's like, you know, man, that Anthony guy. He goes, we just hung out like the other <laughs> night. He goes, so it goes really cold yeah. to fucking just he's such sit a, there and he's drink. such a dude's dude. Yeah, just yeah. like fucking drinking. But and, really, he's you know, fucking and, a and TMZ Jew. And then it was like I just fucking <laughs> <laughs> and then I just fucking <laughs> like you know what? I blame I, the pal talk <laughs> community. Fuck uh, me, man. It, it's a great story because he would have done. <laughs> The exact same thing to us. Well, that, he's so and he what did, and, he's so and technically, what and I'm so not what? trying to justify. Technically, I'm just saying, he these got are all us, the facts. Not even technically, right. his site, Breitbart, fucking his news site, got us suspended when we were at the uh, fucking. Remember homeless Charlie? Homeless Charlie. Huh. He's, he's the guy that reported about the homeless guy that was on our show right. talking about uh, so having sex with you, the hey, queen guys, and shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, he blew that. it off like, hey, I wasn't in charge then. There's somebody else. It went through. Well, it didn't go through me. And, well, his, his name was on the, it. I'm not, and this has nothing to do with Breitbart because nah, everybody got their agenda. I'm just talking about if you was going like the, Anthony Weiner. I know it got out, Yeah, but. It's like if you're gonna be the guys that broke it, you yeah. why you should have it fucking it. oh it, it made enough news. They were they there? it was out there. And once that happened, Pelosi did an about face and just said, Well that was you the end got, of it. You I mean, got, you got, got go. a picture of that was, uh, we were on every news like, channel. Nice. We we had a news cycle for about a week really? on every one of these fucking well, like, get, get yeah. him out of there. Old yeah. footage Fuck of it. us, the dumb video I made in my uh, bedroom telling yeah. my side of the story. Really? I mean, <laughs> no, up, another Democrat's gonna get in there fucking, anyway. I made my cable was turned off. I pulled out a MacBook and I made a quick video and and half hour later CNN had it on TV. Yeah. Because I tweeted it. That's the beauty of like, what I? we're talking about with the Facebook and yeah, the social media. The most that. fucked up thing during the whole thing was when the news would show the studio and, and Breitbart, but they were showing fucking Vincent D'Onofrio and Breitbart <laughs> talking and saying, yeah, this was released and stuff. And, and if you were just watching this, you'd think, why is Private Pile showing <laughs> Anthony Weiner's dick pic awesome. from fucking, like, it didn't make sense. He got involved with our story. Yeah, yeah. And he, he was having talk to him. So, so is, he, is he on Breitbart's side, or what side is he oh, on? No, no, he's not no, a he He's a real liberal, like, real crazy liberal that, on Breitbart. that's Breitbart there. <laughs> yeah. That's Pride Park. That's Pile right and there. And fucking uh, <laughs> Colbert did the funniest fucking thing. Took some of this video 
and said, Breitbart's uh, excuse was he didn't know that there was a camera in the room. He goes, and you could see from this footage, there isn't a camera near him. <laughs> he goes, look, even on the close-ups, you could see no cameras were even near him at the time. That's awesome. It's hysterical. And Breitbart oh, yeah, somehow it around. Had, a, had some kind of uh, morality with the, with the pitcher, yeah. like it was a duty dude thing, but... Uh, he was never going to put it on his site? That's what he said. It's what he's trying somehow to somehow going to get out. I don't think he wanted us to release it. I don't think he wanted the timing to be what it was. Uh, he wanted it on, a, on his terms, right. and we blew it up for him. You know, we were the ones that blew it up. But for, like, like I said, from what I saw, he was showing everybody this picture. And I think he was begging for someone to take it and move it forward. Cause, yeah. Because he, he, he couldn't like, do it. He, he already felt like backed he couldn't himself be the guy. In the corner. He yeah. trapped himself. But I think he also wasn't sure. Like, he was like, I really want this out here, but uh, out there, right. but I don't know how to do it. Yeah. Look I at really Port believe Vincent that. D'Onofrio is like right in the middle of the story. And you know what? Bright just... Bar will come back on the show and we'll have a, we'll have a discussion about this. Yeah, but Actually, yeah. it'll take a little while, but he'll come back. They uh, they that's talked to him on Red Eye, and then I talked on Red Eye. Not together. They tried to get us on this ch same show together. That didn't pan out. Oh, still? We were in the uh, building at the same time, too. Really? Yeah. He was doing another show, and I was doing uh, I Hannity. Was and I was, like, looking around the halls, like, oh, fuck. I'm going to bump into him. It's going to be awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know, what happened is... Even though you you know you can you 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 can speculate that he was gonna do what he was gonna do with it, uh -huh. but the fact is, it's like I show you a picture of like yo, know, this is my girl naked. Yeah, yeah. And everybody's like, whoa, 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 whoa. and then somebody, whoa. boom, your naked girl is there, and it's now it's. But that's how it yeah, happens. Man. Over the fucking you gotta place. understand and though. It's like now I am looking at you like God. But you know what? Oh <laughs> man. But that's how yeah. it happened. And it wasn't his picture. Some chick gave it to him. Some chick gave it to him. Right, How did he get it? So then yeah. he felt but then he feels like it's his thing. picture. Yeah, right. he's doing it's not a, his picture. He's doing a. Hey, yeah. Jay, yeah. look at what I got. Well, you know, you got to be a little more subtle. Mm. It's yeah. like fucking, you know, you don't you don't walk into the club and show De Niro the new Cadillac. Right. <laughs> Sitting out of there. So you matter with you. Okay. Now it's a matter with you. Now it's our picture. You happen to get back. You happen to have just been a victim of. What would a, a victim and a beneficiary of what somebody else was going to do any goddamn way? And and Ooh. and when I was handed that, and there's a camera right in front of me, and I know these devious fucks that are watching this are are gonna screen cap it. It was too tempting. Right. I was I was the child in the candy store. <laughs> I was just like, well, you I know think what? it was a brilliant but movie. Here's what you try. did. You I think you know what? information wants me. to come out, right? Yeah, information yes. wants to come here's out. That's why yes. Anthony's a piece of shit. All right. <laughs> You scooped Opie. Well, no, because then we were fighting to see who we. we no, because our then, thumbs were aching to see who no, was going to tweet it I, first. No, because then the other part of the story is then he shows me on his phone the picture that was screen capped that was sent to him. Oh, right. And then I said, "Well, now fuck you." And I took a, picture, took a picture of his of phone. That. And, and that like, was the fuck. one that made it out there. Right. So, so I ended up scooping him. Uh, the oh, picture, you scoop him because the picture of the picture. Yeah, we were. Uh, the Picture. Uh, yeah, we. I like Opie scooping you. That we, was we were bad, going back and forth scooping each other. I don't like your scoop of Opie. That I was like bad. Opie Wait, scoop. let me explain really fast. So the girl owned the picture, gave it to Breitbart. Breitbart felt he owned the picture. Then Anthony shows uh, Pal Talk. Then whoever took the picture of that owned the picture, sent it to Anthony. Now yeah. Anthony owns the picture, and then I take the picture of his phone, and now I own the picture. It's like the it was, inception. It yeah, was it's crazy. Just a, level it's after just level. A, are you writing this down for your I, book? It's it just a picture of his hard mule. That was the whole thing. That was it, right? That there. was the whole thing, though. But that brought down. That's the one that went that everywhere. Brought down a politician. That's when right I scooped there. Anthony. After then, did you read the website that were saying that he couldn't have taken that picture himself because of the angle? Yeah. So there must have been a third person in the. A second person in the a room. A second person in the room. They're setting up strings like ballistics. Right, right. <laughs> you guys are f third degree of separation from the bitch that got to tweet the picture yeah. <laughs> to the fucking world. Yeah. That is fucking mad. That was fucked up. I'm saying. I'm very we impressed. Took our yeah, I was I'm pretty impressed I'm very fucking that. impressed. That's, that's, that's almost like impressed. Watergate. We haven't had press in a few down. years. We said, fuck it. We're taking our shot. Oh, that's awesome. My my uh my uncle who's like staunch Republican and stuff was oh, very shit. he was very very happy about it. He's <laughs> like, good if we can't elect them out, erect them out. <laughs> like, <laughs> See, that because, erection. You know. <laughs> oh, oh, he's old. Come on, <laughs> give, give him a break. <laughs> give him a break. <laughs> well, that's fucking boy. I wish I wasn't so lazy. You guys yeah, do some good shit. Yeah. Some good yeah. shit. Yeah. We had a nice when you're worker. not here. <laughs> it's all kinds of shit. We had a nice uh, sons of bitches. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm impressed. I'm very yeah, impressed. Yeah. Nice. Uh, it's good to know you guys. Did you get a pat on the back from the fucking people in charge? They didn't even say a word to us. Uh, no, no. Not one word. We were just happy they weren't going to drag us in and bitch us out for something.
right. for getting attention. Ah, what are you doing getting your show attention in the news? Just, Stop it. I just looked you up and down and went. We gave um, the company a um, shitload of press you um, can't um. pay for, and yeah. we didn't. they didn't even acknowledge it happened. Jesus. Yep. Well. It's so weird around here. Jesus. We're on every news channel for three, four. Four straight days, and not no one, said, one of those no guys said, came in. No. Not even Nothing. on a human level. Wow. Nothing. Huh. Not even on a human. Nothing. Not even on the, the ball kid with the glasses was Nothing. like, whoa. Yeah. Nothing. Well, that inspired. Yeah, that inspired our flow chart. If you look at our flow chart up there, uh, could you read that, uh, Sam? Sam, the top one. It's the simplest flow chart ever. It's a uh, diamond shape. There's one box on top, two in the middle, and one uh, at the bottom. Yeah. What is it? Uh, yeah. What, what, <laughs> It, it's so easy. It says. Uh, oh, he needs a mic. Oh, why? Wait, I, I was asked a yeah, but why? Can't you just yell it? <laughs> it says, <laughs> "Did you do good? Did you do good?" Uh huh. Now it goes down to either yes or no. Right. The two Splits options. off. Right. And then, regardless, yes or no, it goes back to one, which reads. That there is a problem. <laughs> There's a problem. <laughs> that is how everything here works. Not even <laughs> no on a what human level yeah. did they say, wow, you guys got no. that pick. This is the strangest place I've ever you brought it's down. Weird. You brought down a fucking yeah. politician yeah. With, his, with his fucking dick. Nancy Pelosi, who was fucking Speaker of the House. Knows about us now. You know, she was like, oh, these two idiots fucking posted yeah. his dick. Yeah. He's got to go. Uh oh. He's got to go. Ben, when are we going to write the book? The, the next book. <laughs> the, yeah. The, the scandal. Yeah, we'll get yeah. into this. I wiener, love it. The Wiener Scandal. Ben can't do it. There's a lot of angles on this wiener book. Scandal. Too many old people in it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, where's the young That's genius? We need the young genius. Twenty-two-year-old genius. Oh, you yeah, should have been around in Boston yeah. when we were there, and, and, and ah, the full of piss and vinegar when we cared. <laughs> yes, yes. And the name of the book will be uh, "Did You Do Good? We Have a Problem." Have That's a, problem. a perfect that name for a book oh, and everything. That could be your bio, good. your biography title. It's, 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 but it's you came up with that name brain. already. I just oh yeah, shit, yeah, it's my name. I'm oh right. shit. Oh, let's get Ben out of here. Politics is hard. Yeah. Politics oh, is hard. Oh, 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 shit. These are good. These are all titles we are not using because I am not divvying up any money with anybody. <laughs> oh, these, mm. little, oh. these little fucking. How about just don't tweet balls? Don't tweet don't your tweet balls your and dick. <laughs> <laughs> There's a guy that doesn't don't understand tweet. social networking. <laughs> no. Don't tweet your cock all yes. over. Yes. That guy did not My understand how the whole he thing didn't read the, He didn't see the social network. He thought he was no. just some old guy with an old school, like, hey, this new technology is just like, hey. This is great. It's I don't like, have the Polaroid and send yeah, it in yeah. the mail. Mail a Polaroid. Tweet my penis and no one will see it. Do not. Been full could he, could he have not mutilated. said that it's not his dick? Isn't his face ain't in it? Uh, no, he. Ah, uh, you could kind of see like the bottom part of his face uh, a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Let, let's get Ben Mesrick out of here. Yes, ben, it's always ben. a pleasure. You always have Fantastic, great stories. Ben. Thank you very much. The new much. book is called "Sex on the Moon: The Amazing Story Behind the Most Audacious Heist in History." Sounds intriguing. Available so, now, like Amazon.com, or download the book. Yeah, right. and he's trying to stay subtle in his in his upgrade. I see you got the hundred dollar. Laceless cons oh, on. Oh, oh shit. shit. His, fucking will pick glass, out. his glasses are custom. Yeah, those are You're nice. looking more polished, yeah. Ben. Am I looking a little more? He's trying, oh, yeah, he's yeah, trying yeah, to stay yeah. fucking good old wife. Ben. It's but, all uh, Tanya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She tells me yeah, what to wear. I saw it. Was that live when I saw you? Uh, no, uh, Don Imus was morning with you. Uh, I was. Uh, uh, Don uh, Imus. Uh, what was he saying? How's he doing? Imus was great. I was great. We, we always comment on the great head of hair Imus has. <laughs> he's like 105 years old and he's got, just got like a Prince Valiant it's hairdo. Amazing. It's that amazing. Much. He was. He's almost at the last stage <laughs> of drinking from the wrong goblet. Uh, from, <laughs> so I was saying the other day, <laughs> from the wrong, oh damn it! I drank the wrong goddamn goblet. I was having son of a bitch. He is right at the. He is right there, looking like a wrong goblet. Wrong goblet face. You walk in, he's there, all old, can't pick his sword up and yeah. shit. <laughs> the wooden one, quick. Ben's, Ben's doing something at Bryant Park today at twelve thirty. A uh, Q and A about the book, yep. and other things I'm sure will be uh, talked about. This man, author, yeah, yeah, and then you got the uh, signing at the Strand Bookstore tonight at seven. What part yes. of Boston are you from? Uh, I live in the Back Bay. Oh, oh you live in Boston? Yeah. The Back Bay. Yeah. Blah 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 What are you promoting? We're out of here. Big Mama, oh. Big Mama Prize on Twitter. Uh, yeah, I'm in this. I'm in Motor Trend uh, this week. Celebrity car edition of MotorTrend.com. 
I'm going to be uh, triumphantly returning to uh, Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona, at the end of the month, and then uh, the Treehouse in Connecticut. All right. That's there what I'm doing. Go. Ben Mesrick, thank you. Thank Patricia you Thank you. Take it easy. See you guys nice tomorrow. To meet you.